Hi everyone, it's Marcy Besker here. I am an independent demonstrator with Stamping Up. And today we are going to do a really fun unboxing, organizing, kind of a fun video. Ooh, so I'm trying to get my comments working here. And um, of course, it seems like no matter what, even when I try and turn down my volume ahead of time, it just blares a commercial at me. So I can see comments. So welcome, I'm back. I had a little vacation. I went to Washington. I got to see my grandson, which was so much fun. He is just a ball of energy. So say hi if you're here. I can see people popping on. And um, I'm super excited to be back. So I've got some fun announcements, um, some specials and some different things going on. And I know there's been a lot of unboxing. I was gone. I didn't get to do my unboxing right away. Um, my product did get to my door on when, no, let me think, Wednesday, Wednesday. I didn't get home till Thursday night, but I had to get it overnighted because I did not want a chance at not getting here before the weekend. I have a class next week. I've got fun stuff in mind. Hello, Melinda, Patty, and Felicia. Welcome, welcome. West Virginia, chilly. I was just thinking of going to the pool after my video, but I just want to craft. So that might have to wait till tomorrow. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Jennifer. Oh, gosh, you guys. So here is my grandson. My, uh, we bought him a little golf club. My husband and my son both like to golf. And so we got him a little golf club and he was having a ball. Thank goodness the balls were like wiffle balls um, because he kept wanting to put them in his mouth and he was whacking the heck out of them. And so they didn't go very far, which was a good thing. They also got a new golden doodle. That was not in the agreement of us flying there to babysit or watch our grandson while they went to Vegas to see uh, his buddy from the army. They went to go visit. So they had a fabulous time. It was my husband, my husband, my son's 31st birthday. And so they had a great time. Hello, hello everybody. Diane, Carol, Jennifer, Tashana, welcome everybody. Um, so the little dog's name is Honey. And we realize how much my husband and I call each other honey. I hardly ever say Rick. I usually say honey. And he'll say the same. And so when I hear him saying, honey, come here. I'm like, hold on a second. I'm doing this or that. And he's like, no, I'm talking to the dog. We're like, bad name. So we told our son, bad name. <laughs> we realize how much we call each other honey. So that was funny. Oh, thank you, Arlene. I'm so glad to be home. I love visiting my son and my daughter. We have so much fun and I love seeing the grandkids, but you know how it is. Once you're home in your own bed and your own surroundings and it's just really nice. And my flowers are blooming now and just it seems like so much has changed and I've only been gone a week. Thanks you guys. Oh, he's so cute. He is just so cute. But when he gets the little pouty face, oh my goodness, my heart just breaks. Okay, so let's get started. I have a lot to share with you. I know you guys have seen probably a lot of unboxing, but I want to try and share some tips and tricks, things that I've felt that when I see this stuff in, in person. Um, oh, Carol, congratulations. I'm glad. Diana home is best. Felicia, you are right. Hi, Laura. Um, so what I want to do is go over some tips and tricks, a little bit of how I store stuff and, you know, what my thoughts are. These shelves are going to be pretty full when I'm done. If you guys saw my boxes at the beginning of the video or on my Facebook page, um, I did receive a lot of boxes. Does anybody know what that little box is with the label on it on the top? Does anybody know what that box contains? So, um, yeah, Carol, I'm super excited for you. And right now is the best time to sign up. And I'm going to go over that a little bit. Um, so, I'm going to go over some tips and tricks. 
stuff that I pulled out and looked at, I realized that there are some items that um, kind of go with something else that didn't catch it. And things that you see um, in person, different than you think of the catalog. So I'm going to go over it. It is a, it's a stamp and emboss machine, a cut and emboss, and it's a mini machine. That's what that little box is. What I'm going to do is for all of the people that put in $300 or more this month. Now, you do not have to put it in at one time. You can break it up as long as your orders are all in by May 31st. I am going to put you in a raffle to win that cut and emboss, and I'm going to mail it to you. So um, that is what I'm doing. So even if you're a demonstrator, you could do it if you want. Um, I I am not one of those people that have a huge amount of people that order. So I'm just going to say that. I'm just new back to stamping up for a year. Um, so uh, your chances are way higher with me. So I'm just putting that out there. So if you are interested in it, you can dibble dabble, put orders in through the end of the month, 300 or more, and you will go into a drawing for that. Simple to do right now. Uh, so many things to buy. So, I mean, not simple and like you can go grab money off of your tree, but you know you're going to buy some good stuff anyway, right? All right. Oh, so many, so many updates. Okay, so let's go down the line right now putting an order in so let's just say that you do put in an order hi michelle long time no see girlfriend i love to see you on here if you do put your order in for 300 dollars, you're going to get 12 percent back in stamp and rewards plus 25 dollars in stamp and rewards so that's an additional amount so 12 percent. i didn't figure it out 10 percent is 30 dollars plus two percent plus $25 and then if you go to 450 of course you can get a 50% off item so um, that's fun free stuff is always good so um, keep that in mind right now is the, the extra $25 to get on 250 or more for your stamp it up good for you Laura joining right now is so much fun you're gonna buy the product anyway you're gonna get a discount thing is is if you join right now which is going to be a, a, my next topic is you also have through the end of december right let's see january march april may june so you're in the middle of the april may june quarter so july august september is your first quarter oh so it's the end of october sorry not december october Hey, doing it as a demonstrator, as a as not as a business and as a hobbyist, Laura, that's so smart because you're going to get a discount. You can make it what you want. When I first joined, I didn't want to do it as a business. I just wanted to get cheap product, get it for a good discount. Great product for cheap. So um, smart, smart, smart. You can change it up as you want. So um, you have to the end of October to get $300. Okay, so I have a downline that didn't think she could make it. She's like, there's no way I'm going to make my quota. And I said, put it out there and see if you can get somebody to order. You don't know. You have crafty friends. So she did. She put it out there and said, I'm trying to close my order. I need, you know, X amount more dollars. And she went beyond that. And people put in orders. They're gonna, people will help you. Um, even if you say, I'm $60 away from my quota, you, you know, it, you'd be surprised. She made it and was shocked. Plus, yes, you get $155. So right now, signing up for $99, you get $155 worth of stuff. Then you get a minimum 20% discount. So let me talk about that really quick. We're going to get into the product really quick. I just wanted to say a few things. Um, yes, I ordered a lot of my product and I tend to do that the very first month. If you can do it because you get, and it depends on your title, of course, but you're going to get a volume rebate. You're going to get a product uh, discount, you know, percentage you're going to get now the maximum, which is, um, the party. Let's see, is it listed on here? Yeah. 16% if you can spend more than $600. So as a demonstrator, 
So what I've been doing, of course, is knowing that I'm not spending anything on anything if I can help it until the new catalog because I have a lot of my stuff. And so I wanted to get as much as I can because then I get the discount. So not only do I get my 20% or 25, I get 25, then I also get 16 because I put over, you know, in, in Stampin' Rewards. So kind of really work out your product to get the best value. Um, and then you get your 50% off item and, and, and it goes on and on. All right, so that's enough. So joining now through the 31st, only $99 for $155 in product that you'll get. So um, seriously, it's a no-brainer. There's no, if you don't make it at the end of October and you don't get your $300, you stay a customer. It's not a problem. But look at all the stuff you've been able to get at a discount until the end of October. So um, I'd love to have you on my team. Okay, so skipping my grandson's picture here. Moving on to Paper Pumpkin. I am going to start doing alternative Paper Pumpkin videos. It's the last one I did. People really like the alternatives. Um, the alternatives are a hit on YouTube videos. And I've been requested if I could do them, I will. See that promotion code right there? Home Run 0521. $5. If you are not a subscriber to Paper Pumpkin right now, this special is $5. Now you have until the 10th of the month, uh, the 11th starts next month's subscription. So you only have three days, but for $5, you can give it a try. So I would really suggest doing that because I think it's going to be fantastic. Um, I love baseball anyway. I think it's a great guy card, a great masculine card. I am not a huge fan of all of the paper pumpkins as they promote them. Um, I like to change them up. I like to cut them like you, you might have seen my ice cream one. Make the product stretch. Um, it's a great grab and take it with you um, kit. Stuff like that. So I am Jennifer. Yeah, I'm going to start doing a video with paper pumpkin alternatives because I really enjoy the paper pumpkin, but putting my own twist on it. So I might as well share it with you on what I like to do with it. And it gets me to use it. Because sometimes I just save them until I can grab them and take them. Like when I went to Washington. I'll show you what I worked on up there. It was not paper pumpkin. But um, I'll show you what I did. Okay. So there's that announcement. Let's see what else really quick. Um, 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 what else? I'm going to read this really quick on the subscribe-a-thon for the paper pumpkin. $5. They will be only while supplies last. So the sale will continue until our number of allocated kits runs out for the May subscriptions. And it will end May 10th. Laura, it is a fantastic idea for gifts. And that's going to take me to another topic here in a sec. Um, it is only good for a month-to-month -month subscription. So let's say you sign up, you spend $5, you get your paper pumpkin. You can cancel it if you want. I try to give a sneak peek. Um, on my Facebook page, which is Marcy Bessaker Designs, it will tell you what the next one is. If you don't like it, you can pause it. So pause it, skip it, say you don't want that one, and then you can come back to the next one. So keep that in mind. You can also cancel it anytime. There's no, a subscription just means that you are on the list to get it. Because so many times people say, oh, I wanted it, I didn't order it, I didn't get it, and then they're bummed. You can always stay subscribed and, and freeze it or cancel it or skip it or whatever you want to do. So um, it's very flexible and I think it's going to be a lot of fun doing the alternatives. So I hope you'll join me with that because I will, um, I think what I'm going to do is make a list of things I'm going to use on my alternative. I'll put it on my Facebook page and that way if you guys want to grab those items and we can kind of craft together. So I think that'll be a lot of fun. So that's what my plan is for that. All right, now I have my little list here. Hi, Cindy. 
paper pumpkin kits okay i'm going to show you kits stamping up is coming up with kits a lot like paper pumpkin but it's a little bit different and i'm going to explain that to you and it's fantastic for new people um my paper share people if you were in my paper share i have a huge box of paper that i need to cut so i'll be doing that this weekend my goal is to have them all packaged monday and mail on tuesday so be looking for those um whoo, elite silver yay me i'm so happy here i am i gotta toot my horn you guys because you know it's hard work so i got my silver elite uh pin in the mail it was in my mail when i got home so that was super exciting yay yay yay, yay. also i received a beautiful card from bonnie and i know your name i believe is different on screen but she's from Canada, the Bonnie from Canada. What do you do with all the boxes after they're used? I'm running out of space. The paper pumpkin boxes. I throw them away. I try to condense them all together. I try to put them um, in one box and then I write on them what they are if I have extra pieces. I have, oh, you can't see it. I have one of my plastic cases like right there and I put all my paper pumpkin uh, for the one year or at least so far in one box and it might end up going into two boxes and I kind of keep those together. Thanks you guys. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate it. So I got this beautiful card from Bonnie in Canada and I know your last name on the envelope is different than on screen um, but Thank you so much for the kind words. I really, really appreciate it. I'm so glad I inspire people. Seriously, it is, I love it, love, 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 love it. I'm surprised I didn't do this years ago. I was kind of afraid, to be honest. Um, but I have to tell you, after you guys saw the videos I did this last week that weren't live, it's so much more fun acting like you guys are right here with me, like talking to you like you're here. Sandy, I have used them for mailing. Okay, so Laura, your online store available. Just get your link. Go to your um, the portal and get your link and then just share it with people. Um, and that's exactly how you're going to do it. And you could go into the code generator and get yourself a code with your host code if you have it. And then share that and then that will work with you. Thank you guys. Okay, so always my code is in my description below. I try to always put the description, the supplies, everything I'm using. We're going through a lot of stuff today, so there's no list of supplies. And I think we are ready to go. I'm going to show you one quick thing, which is what I worked on in Washington when I was there. And these are going to be my thank you cards. And I got to a, ooh, that's close. Let me, I must have been coloring last time when I was on a video. Ooh, okay. So, these are what I did. Oh, Carolyn, we just went over some announcements, and I'm just showing you cards that I did for in Washington while I was there. So, this is the inside, but I want to layer it up on a card. You know how I do. And, um... So these are kind of alternatives from the cards that I showed on my video. So these are all the insides I need to put in. But I did different colors. So I just kind of wanted to show you what I did. Either when Grayson was napping or at night when he was asleep. Let's see, are those the only colors? I think so. I think those are the only colors. Let me glance. Yep, I think that's oh no one more and this one so this is all i did these are my thank you cards for my customers and so there we go so those are how i did them with all different colors hi terry and so this one i ran out of strips which i have here at home still so i just need to put that on there but and then layer these up um, and put them inside so i wanted to show just some different colors i was able to use all of them I kind of just mixed and matched like what did I like the best and yes I used all my ribbon 
not all of it, but a lot of my ribbon, but I knew I was going to have some in my boxes when I got home. So anyway, these were a lot of fun. So if you didn't see my video, you might want to go back and look because what's nice is I cut this out of here and this out of here and it made two cards. So it's a really quick, simple video. Some I did the pink on the inside and some I didn't do a color on the inside. So anyway, I just wanted to show you those. Those were a lot of fun. All right, now let's get busy with the new stuff. I've chatted long enough. Thank you, Cindy. Um, I just wanted to show you, if you look back at the video, it just kind of gives you an idea how to get a lot of cards done quickly. Okay, so let's move this. I don't think we need that. Okay, so let's get started. I have a lot of fun stuff to show you. I'm going to go over some tips and tricks and how I did this. So, Artistically Inked is a gorgeous suite. All right, so we have this, this, and I don't even know if I'm pulling everything out at one time because I have it kind of put aside and I did this late last night when I got home. We flew in last night. Oh, Laura, you don't have to. Okay. So what I decided to do this time is I took the stamp set and I also put the name of the dies because they're not all the same anymore. So you know how I, I've said before, there used to be where you could put your dies in here and they would match. Well, these are so different. You could use this for just almost any other flower set or even you know, a nice big sentiment set or whatever. Use a DSP behind it and just this. I mean, there's so many things you can do. So I decided to go ahead and put that on here. And that way I can keep everything together. I'm loving the font. I love a big, bold, happy birthday. Thanks. I love the font. Love the print. Everything is beautiful. This is my favorite set. And of course, you know me. The favorite set is the one I'm currently using, but this one is my favorite set. And I'm using this um, part of this set on Sunday's video. I'm working on that video now. So hopefully um, what I'm thinking is going to work will come out. Oh yeah, Patty is right. And who else? Tashana. Absolutely. When you see this stuff in person... It is absolutely amazing. So anyway, um, that's what I decided to do with this. This paper, I can't even tell you. Okay, backing up. These sleeves I get on Amazon. Um, they are just, I think they're just called 12 by 12 uh, scrapbook sleeves, I think is what it is. But... <clears throat> So what I do is I cut this off if it's on the plastic and I just tape it on the back of the cardboard if the cardboard is in there. If it's the thicker cardboard or the white cardboard, I don't care. I just think it helps this stay stiffer and straight. Okay, so let's show you the paper and I still can tell you that this is not going to do justice on the camera. Um, I mean, you can see the gold. I saw other people do unboxings when I was out of town. And I was almost crying because I knew it was all at my house. So, it is absolutely fantastic. So, the foil pieces, we're going to go through. You get two of each. I think I already pulled one out. I pulled this one out already um, for a project. Look at how pretty this is, though. Look at that. Absolutely gorgeous. I mean, in person, it's just... Oh, I can't even... I, this is probably one of my favorites. I love these colors. Absolutely love them. <coughs> this is just so me. I'm loving this. Oh my gosh. I'm already thinking of other projects that I'm dying to tell you, but I can't tell you. Okay, so that is that. You get two of each. Now, when I do your paper share, I will be cutting in you know, six by six. But if you have this paper and you want to cut it, look at your paper. For example, this piece right here for myself, 
I'm going to cut it this way, six, and I do four by four. Okay, when you get it, you're going to get it six by six if you got it from me. But for me, I'm going to cut it straight down and I'm going to do four and four. So if you buy a whole package, look at your pieces because if you look at this side, it's going to, I'm going to cut it down this way so I can get a little bit on each. Okay, so um, thank you, Diana. Yes, Carol, this one is called Expressions in Ink Specialty Designer Series Paper. Artistic, artistically inked is the stamp set, but ex Expressions in Ink is the whole bundle. Okay, Bree, we're, this is project number one. I did some updates at the beginning you might want to check out, but this is, we're just starting number one. Okay, so think about how you're going to cut it. Like this one, I would want to cut like this, which is the same on the back, if that makes sense to you. So think about your, your turning your project, okay? So this is so pretty. You know what this would be really pretty with? The turtle. Oh my gosh. The turtle wasn't available right away. My little guy's on his way. I can't wait. And this one, look at that. The turtle shell. Oh my goodness. Okay, so think about, you know, that. This, I think, would be so pretty. Okay, I'm going to back up just a little bit. If it's, if it's too far back, let me know. But I want you guys to not, like, I feel like you guys are, like, the paper's all up in your face. Okay, I want you to see a little bit. Okay, this I think would be so pretty with the peach set too. So, um, the peach set, oh my gosh. Okay, look at the green. Again, the turtle, how cute is that? You could use this paper and then you could take your blending brush with some blues and give the turtle a little bit of a blue green, which I love. All right, and then who doesn't like stripes and gold stripes at that? So pretty. And then when you turn everything over, again, the peach set, so pretty. The green, like I showed you, which the trees, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. This set, I am absolutely, and the paper, I can't even tell you. It kind of has... Like, a, okay, this is going to be a long video. I'm just warning you right now. It is going to be a long video. I'll try to hurry, but I don't want to rush through because I got home late last night and I really haven't dug in and looked at everything. Okay, this looks like a vellum -y kind of paper. It's not. It's regular paper, but just the, the look of it is just so soft. Oh, okay. I can look at this paper all day. All right, so this again doesn't have the gold, but it has the beautiful watercolor look, the alcohol ink look. That one, I have two. I'm using one, can't tell you, can't show you. Absolutely stunning. So, there is a bundle. So, if you guys are interested in this bundle, don't pass it up because you still get your 10% discount on your stamp set and dies. So let me explain a suite really quick before we go to the last piece, which I have not even opened yet. Okay, so what I want to share with you is the difference between a bundle and a suite. A bundle is you get your stamp set and your dies or your stamp set and your punch, and that is a bundle and you save 10% when you buy them together. So when you see them in the catalog, you're gonna see the stamp set. It's gonna talk about which dies or punch goes with it, okay? And, and you could go to another page and look up that number for the die or the stamps or the punch, but you're not gonna save 10% if you get them separate. If you have to buy them separate, or if you buy this and then decide, yep, I should have bought the dies, I'm gonna get it, then, that, then you can, and you're just not gonna save your 10%. If you buy them together, 10%. Resale after it's over, catalog's done, you're moving on to new stuff, and you decide, okay, I've gotten my use out of this. It's way easier to resell it with the dies. This one will not leave me, I'm just saying. So um, think about that. Get both together if you can. Now, if you get a suite, 
the suite now i don't have my book open so i can't remember if there's anything other than these things but um for example this is a suite all it does is tell you what coordinates together with this okay obviously there's other things in the catalog that you could use with this that could make it even step it up even more but this is what they call a suite you're still getting 10 percent only on this okay so if for example if you can only buy this right now but later on you want the paper and you want this um, um ephemera package then get it later it's, you're not going to save any more or lose anything so do what's best for you oh i'll probably still be here tashana when you get back thanks you guys no i i'm enjoying this because i also have not seen everything in detail okay i have not opened this up so let's look these of course are from stamp and storage and stamp and storage has um these these are cards they're very hard they're nice and firm they hold my dies perfectly these are their pouches i use a brother label maker for this i love this one because you can put one line and two lines it depends on what size um, that you put in here i like the larger font because i'm blind um, so i would rather cut it and then i put the number below and you'll see on some of them if it's a longer title i put the number below just so i know what it is and i can share that with you when i am doing a video exactly laura break it up if you need to yes you only have to do the sweet number that will give you everything in the suite okay so yeah you don't have to put all the things in one at a time all right so here we go um i am an affiliate with stamp and storage it's down below and it's also on the front page of my blog which is marcy Bessaker designs and if you go through there um, i'd really appreciate it and they have some amazing things there okay oh good laura yeah stamp and storage is awesome so yes, I am an affiliate. It's linked below. Okay, my first thought on these, OMG. Let me see if I can get a piece of paper. Oops. All right. So these do not have the hole in them. Okay. And they are like an iridescent, kind of a pinkishy yellowy they're very pretty which obviously goes really well with this super pretty love 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 those okay i'm gonna leave my white paper i might need that later okay let's see now this is ephemera is what they're calling this and i think last time it was like specialty foil paper thanks laura i appreciate it but look at all of these yummy things kind of like the forever fern it was such a hit and i think this with all the gold in here is so pretty i think these are all the same yeah let me have how many sheets do you get let's look um it says one set okay so let's count one two with tissue in between because you don't want to scratch the gold three four i'm guessing five yeah five sheets and it looks like these come apart look at that so you have a hexagon you could use okay so hexagon you could use this little guy and then these pop out look i'm not even kidding you could use this inside like i don't know you could match it up with this side and just kind of accent a sentiment or something i don't know look at that look how dainty that is can you see look okay move those look how pretty that is ooh, ooh, ooh. i'm liking that and look that's only part of it then you have 
this. Wow. Look at this. Okay, so you can put a sentiment in here. I'm trying to pull it out. Okay, here's another one. Where's my paper? There's another one. That's kind of cool. I know you're getting that gold wire on there. All right, there's more. Let's see. They're very dainty and delicate here, so you want to be careful. I don't even know if this is part of... Oh, yeah, it is part of the same one. So be really careful. They come off easy, but they have just that little tiny piece of paper that attaches. Okay, then again, you have this and i i can see these sticking out of a cluster of flowers or something so i'm being dainty here all right there we go and same thing on this side and the 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 diamond shaped kind of rectangle one is kind of the same look how cute Love it. I like this way better than the circles that we had before. The metal hoops or whatever those were. I love this better. All right, so I'm going to lay those on top inside there and then put my tissue. Oh, look, it fell right out. Okay, hold on. All right, tissue. All right, let's put this back kind of. Okay, and then we've got the leaves with berries and leaves, and then these are just berries, and there's a lot that you can kind of put in there. Okay, I'm trying to read. Sorry, guys. Yeah, so, okay, there we go. So this comes also in this suite. So pretty. And now I'm like, did it come in this suite? I don't know. I gotta look. Yes, it did. I'm still like exhausted. My my grandson, whoo, that boy. He is a good boy. My my husband's so funny. He doesn't have he didn't have a son. I did. He had a daughter. And I had a son and a daughter. And so I'm like, you he's like, ooh, that boy is all boy. And I'm like, okay, you're not used to boys. Alright, so that is that set. So I'm gonna set this somewhere aside because I'm going to have this big pile to the side of me. All right, let's go to the next one. Ooh, let's do peaches. I think this is so pretty. Trying to find my paper here. I had these all up on my shelf and I pulled them all down so I have them in a big pile. Oh, you're welcome, Diana. All right, this is what I've been looking, oh, wrong one, looking forward to while I was gone. All right, so again, I have the title. This is the peach die set. Look at these little tiny flowers. They're just little tiny flowers. Can you imagine just doing a bunch of these in white and just kind of putting them on like your little leaves or you know, tucking them in your, your flowers or whatever for your little peach blossoms. So cute. I love, love, love that they did this in the back. It kind of throws me off that this is backwards. So all the text and everything is backwards. And I know when we stick these on, it's going to be backwards. But, and it goes just like that. Okay, so I'm thinking... If, I mean, we can't, but if we were able to pull this off and all of this stuck to this side, it would be nice to just lay it down and pull it up, but that's not the case. But that is how it goes, just like that. So if you don't want to take them all off and put them on here, you could put a tape runner, I guess, right here. You could pull this off and you could just lay that right on there. So that's totally up to you. I mean, I think this is kind of a clever way to do it um, also, but I don't think it's gonna have a problem sticking to that. So it's just whatever your preference is, I guess, but it does align up just like that on when you put them on. All right, so that's fun. I love the font. I really love everything about this set. 
So the paper, another thing. Okay, so this one has the white sheet. So I just put the, thank you, Laura. I just put the white sheet on the back. So it's not the cardboard, but it's enough to just give it a little more support. So I like to leave that in there. Number one, it has the name. And number two, it just gives my pouch a little more support while it's up. So here's the front. I'm just going to show you the back like this. So here are the peaches. Let's do it this way. All right. So that is front and back. So pretty. And I know people are going gaga over this one, which I love. But this is this is my colors. I love this. So pretty. And then adding like an accent of that. I mean, come on. So, so pretty. Thank you, Cindy. I really appreciate it. Um, oh my gosh. But they're right. The blue is stunning as well. Look at that. So pretty. Is the camera close enough for you guys or do you want to go closer? I want to make sure you guys can see this. And I'm still telling you that even in person, it's... It just doesn't do it justice. Oh, stripes. There was a set with Stamping Up, and their DSP had stripes like this several years ago. Maybe 10 years ago. Maybe 7 or 8 years ago. I don't remember. But I love, love, love the watercolor stripes. Absolutely love them. So, so pretty. And look, even with your polka dots and the blue, oh my goodness. They have, ser this, they have really outdone themselves for sure. Okay, good, Laura, thanks. I do too, Cindy. This is just so pretty. And again, little watercolor stripes in the blue. So pretty. Oh my goodness. I'm telling you, when I was gone, I saw people doing their their unboxing, and they kept saying, oh my gosh, the paper, when you see it in person, I was like, they are like, you're going to love it. And I'm like, oh yeah, it's beautiful. I love it. And then when you see it in person, you're like, oh my gosh. I love the marbly look there. This is so pretty. See, this is, I just love this. Oh my gosh. They really did, Jennifer. Hi, Cindy. Carolyn, it's blurry to you. Um, either refresh or maybe go back out and come back in. Oh, what color is the blue? Okay, it says blur. Okay, I'll get to that in just a second. And then here's the green. Look at that. Another turtle. You could do turtle. I guess I've got turtle on the mind. So, so pretty. Okay, so the colors, I shall tell you. Oh, Sandy, you are right. I, um, I, can't, I just can't get over it. Okay, so the colors are Balmy Blue, Bumblebee, Calypso Coral, Early Espresso, Mango Melody, Pale Papaya, Pear Pizzazz, Petal Pink, and Whisper White. So I'm going to tell you that I need to order some more Balmy Blue and probably Calypso Coral. I ordered a lot of paper. So, okay, so I'm, I'm, I'm going to confess something to you. I told you on my video before that if you guys go to order the jewels, that if they're all gone, it could be my fault. Um, I'm not saying it's all my fault, but I'm saying that you will be seeing a lot of these because, um, but they're going to be coming back. So if you didn't get them, my dog is growling at me. Um, if you didn't get them, they will come back. You must get these. You must, must, must. If you get anything, these are like so pretty. Okay. So that is the peach set. Absolutely beautiful. Again, sweet as a peach. You're a peach, and peach is are the dyes. Peach. Good, Laura. Okay, so that's another one. 
tossing it aside. Let's get back. What's next? And I'm not going to show you the stuff that I've already shown you. So we're just going to kind of skip a little bit. This one is another one. Perfect plants and plentiful plants. Now my daughter absolutely loves plants. She had, we built her a greenhouse for, I think it was for her birthday last year. And I'm super excited about this. I have another plant set that I've had for a long, long time. Mostly for my daughter because she loves the daughters, uh, the plants. And so I kept it, but now I'm so thrilled with this one. To a dear friend, you touch my heart. Love you. Thank you. Not only did Stamping Up hit out of the park with the DSP, but the sentiments. Oh my gosh, so many sentiments. Hi Carol, this is only like our third project. We did some announcements and I'm, we're going, we're just visiting and going through each thing. So um, again, um, I put that title there. I love the macrame here. Oh, macrame, I'm gonna jump to this really quick. They have a macrame embossing folder. Look at that. Look how cool that is. And it's a 3D one. I'm super excited about it. So that I think is going to be fantastic with this suite. Uh, Christine, I got them uh, on Amazon. And I think they're just called 12 by 12. I'll link it below if it's not already linked. It might be. But if not, I'll link it below um, after I post the video and everything. Um, I got them from Amazon. I want to say they're 12 by 12 scrapbook sleeves or something like that so um, I love this macrame hanging this right here is this that kind of you know hangs off your plant so you can make it a multi type of plant uh, this is a little more succulent looking a little note with biggest thanks I love anything with a little note I think that's so sweet you were there and I am grateful thank you to a dear friend anyway these are awesome I love the look of them that you could stamp with your ink and then take a dauber and kind of see the shading that's right here. So you have some shading there and then you can see there's a little bit of shading like inwards a little darker. This one is solid so you can make that a nice solid but you could also do a green and then take like a blue color and just kind of stamp on it. Same thing there's some shading. so. Kind of, you know, where the shading is, is where you're going to do a different color. Oh, yeah, Diana, it's gorgeous. I can't wait to use it. That's what the picture looks like. So I take the picture off. I toss this. I just kept it to show you. Um, but I keep, but I write it down right here. I don't put the number or anything. As long as I can tell you guys what the name is. I don't want to put too much on my front because it does go in and out of the machine. And, but I do want to at least tell you what the name of it is so it's easier for you guys to look at when I'm um, creating with it. Okay, so let's look at the paper. The paper is called Bloom Where You're Planted. I think that is what the, the bundle is, or the sweet is called too. Also, on this, hi D, welcome. So we've got our images here. Now this one, I don't think there's dies for this. All right, but let's move on. Well, now I'm looking at it just to make sure. Yeah, there's no dies there. But this one, look at this. You can do all your die cutting, get all of your images cut them out. They look like if you have a scan and cut, um, I think it would work. The white is kind of light, but um, it might work. Let's see what else I have on here. Oh, this one. No, I don't think. I think that's it. The three. And then I think these you could put decorations. Like you could cut the little holes if you wanted. It has like a little imprint like this one does. You could probably put that one on here. You know, give it a little bit of a 
decoration. I don't know. Maybe this one fits this one. Let's look. Mm, I don't think so. And then here's another round one, too. You could just do these as baskets, too, you know, that hang. So there's lots of different things you can do. Yeah, if you're talking about the, for the dies, this is Stampin' Storage. I get these at Stampin' Storage. And I believe Stampin' Storage does ha carry um, these sleeves also. I just happened to have already had some of these, so I just kept them all the same. Um, so you can check with Stampin' Storage. And I just lost a die. I didn't push it in. I didn't take it off. And so... Make sure you keep all your dies on here. These are little. I try not to put little ones like that at the top, like I said. Now, somebody else did give me an idea that you turn this over and you can put them in this way. Because then they're all fully covered and put your names over here. So that is an idea that I may end up switching them. And they're really easy to pull those off and turn them over. Yes, you're right, Bree. The sleeves from Stampin' Storage open like here and on the top. So you have like an opening on both. I put mine on a shelf like this so I can see the name. The weird thing about these is I notice all of the tabs are on the right. So there's three of them and they're all right here. So I don't know how to get the ones that are like over here, which is kind of weird, but it doesn't bother me because um, I just look for the name and pull the whole file out anyway. Yeah, they are like this. Stampin' Storage does have, they are like this material. And they're very nice. Okay. Oh, wait, we didn't see all the paper. What am I doing? All right. Okay, so there we go. We can die cut those. I'll show you the back side in a minute. Well, here, let's do it like we did the last time. Look at the wood. That is cool. That can go with so many different different papers. This you could fussy cut out. I love these, too. And this one's the one you would cut out, but you also have this as a background. I really like this set too. I'm just thrilled with the catalog this time. I love, love, love the white brick. I wonder, I doubt it, but let me try something. All right, so here's our brick folder. Yeah, no, this is much smaller. I was wondering how it would line and it's way smaller. Although, let me look here. No, so it looks like, I was thinking if it was at least lined this way right, but it's in between too. It, this is much smaller, which is good. That just gives us a different variety if we wanted to use something like a little bit larger. Yeah, I, you know, when you go, like, I return to stamping up and, you know, everything, you're kind of like, oh, is it going to be what you want it to be? And what is the next catalog going to be like? I could not be happier. Look at this. Look at this. If you are a new stamper, I mean, look at this. You could create the most beautiful cards. All right, let's see. What else is there? Oh, this one. Right here. Mm, I think that's it. But then you have like this little thing. And these are the ones that hang down. This one. So those are different. But look at, at least you can have the larger three on here. And then this one, this one, and this one. Um, you would fussy cut out if you want to use them. But how cool is that? Oh, 
All right. So that is awesome. Except you don't want to lose your values on there. Okay. So that is the, another paper that does... So now you have your pots and your flowers that you can cut out with. And now look at you have wood. Very cool. Now this would be a really cool like background and then really that'll really pop your plant images out. But of course I'm gonna use this side. I love brick. And you can use this for so many different cards, it does not have to be in the plants. So I love that. Love, love. This one, I would cut this way, and then I would do my four and four, and then I would have this like a hanging plant. And then you could take this and do like, you know, do a macrame. You can put like a piece of vellum on there and then have this hanging too down like that and this you know depends on how you want to cut it there's so many things oh good stuff i'm hoping to have them packaged on monday and we can mail them on tuesday i'm going to cut them this weekend but i need some sleep after my trip all right and then this side is really cool look at that i love any kind of texture so, super fun. I'll read you the colors. I love that two sheets, one for the pots, one for the plants, uh, will all be cut. The colors, Cajun Craze, Cinnamon Cider, Evening Evergreen, Garden Green, Gray Granite, Just Jade, and Whisper White. So, think about when you are looking for the, the paper and you find a paper that you love. Make sure you order your card stock that matches. Or at least, you know, one or two sheets, whatever you think your card base colors will be. So that is this one. And then don't forget your embossing folder. All right. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to just show you some paper because I've already showed you the stamp set. So I'm just gonna kind of, if there's a paper you wanna see, okay, I'm gonna show you these. So we'll put that aside. There's a stack I'm gonna show you. I've already showed you these in the previous videos. Of course, In Good Taste is staying um, from last catalog. That is not in the paper share, I already told you because it's already been around. The Simply Elegant is so pretty. Hand penned, again, one of my favorites. It's it is busy, but there's so much to add it in the back and really add some solid panels on top. The pansy petal I already showed. Beauty of the Earth I showed. And the pattern play. Again, along with the $300 order, if you put it in, you go into a drawing for the mini machine, but you can also get this as part of your host rewards. And I've already showed you this before, but just don't forget the back side is all black and white. So it's so universal. There's a lot of patterns like plaids and polka dots and stripes and different things. So um, don't miss out on that. A lot of times it's easy to miss out on the host sets. And I just don't want you to miss out on that paper. It's amazing golden copper foil that stain so i decided to put them in one pouch so i'm just showing you kind of what i did i did put the linen in here because i decided that i already have everything else in these so i did put the linen and this is has adhesive so let me show you the linen it looks just like a canvas i don't know if you're going to be able to tell yeah i don't think you can tell but it is just like canvas and so um, you can die cut it, cut it up, do whatever you want. And then there is the heat adhesive on the back and you get two sheets. So if you are in my swap, you are going to get like this one, I believe has two sheets in it. Let me make sure here. 
So when you get your, it is two sheets. When you get your swap, it's going to be six by six. You'll get two six by sixes. Okay. So you'll get to try it out. See if you like it. The pearlized paper. If you ordered the or have the seashell set, I highly recommend the pearl paper. It stayed. I'm super happy about that. I did stock up on it because I wasn't sure if it was going to stay, and it did. Last year, I was thrilled about the rainbow, and I used it once. Um, so you'll definitely be seeing me use this. I love the glimmer paper. I hope they bring more back because I love, love, love it. The ombre is the same kind of glimmer paper. You're going to get this in your swap too, your paper swap if you did it. So we have one of four, one of each of four colors, absolutely gorgeous colors. Now, just to explain what I'm going to do. Hi, Annalise. Welcome. For the paper swap, if you got this, see how it's all ombre, how light it starts light. So what I'm going to do is do one this way. I'm going to turn one this way, I'm going to turn one all the way, and I'm going to turn one this way. That way, when you cut it, you're going to at least get, you know, an ombre in each one. Because a lot of people are two, because you'll get the corner one here, and you'll get the top one here, but you won't get two of them here. Same with the person over here that gets this corner. They're going to get ombre, ombre, but not so much ombre on those two. Because this is really hard to, to give everything to everybody. Um, but it really is just to kind of show you about the paper. And if it's, you know, a paper that you want to get. And it just gives you a little bit of an idea to use it. So keep that in mind when you get it. I'm going to try and cut these type of things the other packages, if they come out like this, I'm cutting them, and that's how you're going to get them, because otherwise everybody's decision is going to be different. Hi, Susan. Welcome. The ombre paper, Laura. I'm so happy I can open up the... Oops. I don't want the light. I want my fan up a little bit. The ombre. I don't have my tabs in my catalog yet, so let me show you. The ombre paper is right here, 135. This is the ombre paper right here. Oh, thank you, Brie. So this is the ombre paper. Good night, Carol. Thanks for joining me. All right, so the vellum, you guys, I cannot even tell you how gorgeous this is. See that shimmer? It is so pretty. Oh, there you go. You can see pretty good right there. So you get two sheets of each. I've got a lot in here. Two couple packs, I think. So you get two of each. So you get the soft, succulent, the polished pink. And let me show you when you pull one out. Okay, so it looks a little darker when they're two on top of each other. You get the Evening Evergreen, which can you imagine this on a Christmas card? Look how pretty that is. So pretty. Fresh Freesia and Pale Papaya. So pretty. So these, I think, punching them out with flowers or die cutting with flowers. Adding some stones in the middle. Oh my gosh, these are going to be so pretty. So don't miss out on the shimmer vellum. All right, so that is the paper. Let me show you two more pieces of paper. I haven't even opened this one up. Tidings of Christmas. I know, Susan. I'm so excited. I It's so hard because I was, you know, I wanted to just start with one project then I'm like, I see something else. And I'm like, oh, maybe I'll do that one instead. And then I'm like, no, I said I'll do this one. Oh, there's just so much. Okay, so here is our Tidings of Christmas. Now, I didn't buy the stamp set yet because 
I want to see what's coming in the stamp set. It's, there's another, the tree one, the evergreen tree one. Oh, I got that one. Trust me. I love the end colors, Jennifer. Normally, one or two. This time, all of them. All right, so here are the, the evergreen. So when I split this up among people, it's, I'm going to, you know, separate it out. Um, so these are those colors. This reminds me of the feeling of the last year's Christmas set. Okay, there's the other ones. Ooh, love the stripes. Okay, I'm going to move it up a little bit. These are really pretty. I'm really happy that they came out with a little bit more small print. Because I like to put it in the background and layer up panels, but you can see everything. Where if it's a bigger print, you can see something here, but then nothing until down here except little stuff. So I'm really liking the busy, the busyness of the paper so that you could layer up and still get a really good look at all the way around. So I'm really happy that they did that. And this is 48 sheets. And I love these colors for Christmas. I'm more of a um, like cherry cobbler, dark green than I am the bright. So look how pretty that is. Can you see it all? It's a lot of stuff. Yeah, I really like the patterns, I like how busy they are. Some people go, oh, they're too busy. But if you put a panel and a project on top and your main focus and this, you just see the outline, it's perfect for that. And that's why I do like a lot of the paper that's busy like that. So you can see it all. Because some of it you want to add in there and you don't even get to see it all. And then you're like, oh, I'm wasting my paper. Okay, another thing I'm absolutely loving is the rose and gold. It is not like the glimmer paper, and let me show you. This is rose, uh, golden rose metallic specialty paper. It is like brushed. Okay, I'm going to see if you can see. It's like brushed. It's so, so pretty. So there is the gold. And then there's the rose gold. Oh my goodness. Okay, so you're kind of at that angle you can see. It's kind of um, just brushed. It's so pretty. But it's like the glimmer paper. Like there's, there's nothing that's going to come off on this. So pretty. Like you would almost think that there's adhesive on the back that you could just peel it off. There's not, but that's kind of the feel that you think it would be. Absolutely gorgeous. And you get four sheets in each. So again, in my swap, you're going to get one of each. Okay, because it's four in each, you get a quarter of a package. So this package, I think, is $5, I want to say. And so... Um, in the swap, you get a quarter of each package, and that's how this will be. So let me tell you that you are going to want to get this on your order. Yeah, it's so pretty. Oh my gosh, this is so pretty. Okay, and so this is item 156844. Man, my hands are dry. I've been dealing with a lot of paper. Okay, so let's get going here. We're not even started. Okay, so... Layering hugs, again, sending hugs and layering hugs. I did two separate um, labels so that I can know where it goes. What I really like about the dies is I didn't realize, you know, when you see the set and you're like, oh, got to have that. And then I'm like, I just loved this and it came with a die. Yay. Okay, so when I got it, I love that we have these two little labels to these tiny little sentiments that you could just layer up. And I know it's in the catalog, but this, you can just pull out your hugs, wishing you well. And you could just kind of put it right there. And it's absolutely so cute. 
or you can say sending you birthday and then you could say kisses and take off the and or you know thinking of you sending you okay thinking of you sending you kisses or whatever you can I mean really change that up it's really cute what I loved about it is that you get these letters so you're gonna get the floral in the background hey Samantha welcome welcome you are going to get you can see the letters but they're not cut out so when you get this image you're going to have the space for the letters and then you can cut these out like with the gold or the rose gold like i'm thinking do this and soft like the pale papaya and maybe um like the pale now the, the pale pink what the name is escaping me but soft colors and then do this in the rose gold and cut out the hugs and then layer it up on there how pretty would that be so oof, I'm, I'm excited to start playing with everything but I'm in the middle of a project I'm gonna focus 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 it's on page oh yeah so that is a really fun set that I'm really thinking is going to be fun. This is the kind of project I think that if you're not feeling crafty one day or you're going on a trip or whatever, stamp yourself a bunch of these and then just color. So take your, take your um, pencils, take your blends, whatever that you want to take and then um, just color this up. And then when you come back, you can, you know, die cut it and be ready to go and kind of uh, now this does not die cut so let's let's revisit that this is separate than this okay now this does go on top watch how this goes it'll okay let me pull it up a little farther so this lines up right there so it does cover part of it so if you wanted to put like black or white or whatever and then you can put your letters or you can do it completely separate so think about that it does not cover the whole thing and it does not cover the outside okay it's not going to die cut out the outside you know when pre-order for the june celebration oh, i know jennifer i already put in two more orders and i have another one going in because i'll tell you what i forgot that's, I have a couple things coming up that I want to tell you. Don't forget. Um, Samantha, June celebration. You know, I was gone on vacation, and I know that the celebration has moved, and I need to go look it up and find the details out on that because it did move um, because some products not available and some different things. So um, all that shipping issue going on. But I will get it and I'll post it below in the video when this is over. All right, so there's that one. All right, the next one. Okay, so I'm, you guys, I don't know if I mentioned this, but I'm doing cookbooks for my grant, my, for my daughters for Christmas. And so I think this is going to add such a cute element to the cookbooks. And the examples in the catalog is just so cute. And so... I am loving this. I love all the little cooking stuff. I love the shading of it. What's cooking, sending you a dash of kindness and a spoonful of love. Super cute items. And love the shading. It's going to be simple coloring. And these are going to be super cute. And they're red rubber. Really, really darling. So um, I think this is a cute set. And I love the board. You could do the board and do, you know, cut yourself out a chunk of cheese and put it on there. Um, so, again, the shading, really cute. I like this set a lot. This one I was not going to get. Okay, is this the one? Yeah. Seasons, seasonal basket, because I know a lot of Christmas is coming. But I really kind of like adding this to the plant set that we have. 
I like that this has some options with the basket and some other, you know, leafy kind of solid images that I think will look good with the other one. Um, I do like uh, May Your Day Be Filled With Good Things, another great sentiment that I really like. Smart thinking, Samantha. Um, so, this, I really like this. I like this. You can kind of blend it up and then put daubers on it and make it look a little different. Um, embossing that would be really pretty and, and adding the smaller one with it. I like it. But what really sold me on this is this basket. So, if you look in the catalog, this basket just, if you do it like out of crumb cake, it just looks like a you know, it's just like a soft fabric-y, I don't know, like a jute kind of basket or that kind of look to it. And I just loved that. So really, this dye is what sold me. But I do like adding this with the other plant set. I think it's going to give it a lot of use. So that is one. This one... I like the font. I'm here for you always. Just thought you should know how wonderful you are. And thank you. You know, I'm trying weekly to send out some, some positive vibe cards. Um, the fish are just cute. I love this for the ground. You can use this on lots of different cards. I like how big this is and I like the bubbles. So I'm happy with this. But this one... I really like that these are completely different than this. So this looks like it it die cuts into paper. Let's do one. Let's do one and see what it does. Let me find a piece of paper here. We're just going to use this. Let's just see what it looks like because I think both of them I've been wanting to do this. We might as well do it, right? Check it out. See what they look like. I think both of these images are are just a different kind of a die. All right. So see, they don't come out completely. So let's look at a little closer to this because I'm anxious to see what we think. So it doesn't come out all the way, but I think it could. So they've got like little tiny pieces here. Now I'm not sure why unless you just want it as a background and you want it to look kind of 3D-ish, but you don't want to pull it all the way out. You could cut this all the way out. And then this guy, all of these come out. Thanks, Diana. All right, so it looks like, look at that. See, I'm having this much fun as you guys because I have not seen all this. So you could just pull all those out and you could take this out and it's standalone on its own. Same with this guy, I believe. Now, you could just leave it in the background in your paper. You could just take your, your brush and get all your pieces out. I have them flicking all over. But see, you still have the scale there. And then these will all come out. You just have to get them out. And you could leave it on the back of your paper. Or, yeah, you could. I mean, this could just kind of fin up, you know. You could put the fins up. And yeah, put that in a shaker card in the background. But look at those fins sticking up. How cute is that? 
that way you still have your paper and it's a way that your your um, fish is adhered in the background you get all your little pieces out how cute is that or we can just cut it out and just kind of figure out where your pieces are that you want to cut and then you can have your standalone fish like this one is going to be a little more you know there and now you can have your fish and your seahorse completely separate if you wanted or you can put them in the background so that's kind of a a fun different kind of card add some colors i think starting this one with this color and add some greens and darker blues and would really be pretty so anyway there's those well that's good now we know so i'm going to add these on the back here and slide them in my pouch so i have them to play with okay oops there we go all right so another really cute set all right this one encircled in friendship at first I was thinking these dies are going to be really intricate and a pain but I do like a lot of them and I'll show you what I'm talking about but I like the sentiments each day is a little brighter you're in my thoughts with heartfelt thanks because of you and I like little ones like this you're the best in a world where you can be anything thank you for being kind I really like that sentiment and then just a note to let you know that someone thought of you today. Another great one that, you know, especially now, a lot of people aren't leaving their house still. People are working from home, whatever. Um, I really like that. So these are, there's two different kinds. So this one, I think, is just a really cute, fun background. And then you can layer up this on top of that. Okay, so you're going to put another fun die there and put your sentiment. You could even layer up all three if you wanted and do your tiny sentiment here and make this like your main focus. This one is a little more intricate here. Super cute and it also cuts the hole outside. Because this one is does not cut the hole outside so you're going to want to do the hole outside or do this one first and then that i don't like to layer them up because if they move a little bit they're going to go right on top of each other so remember that uh, when you're cutting these out this one i even think you might be able to do this one in the middle yeah i would do this one in one color because it does not cut the center circle whereas this one does this one doesn't, but it leaves dots, and this one doesn't. So you could do this one, and then this, and then layer it up with your sentiment on there, with these little sentiments. It would look super cute. So there's a lot of really fun. Is that the combo part number? Combo. Oh, this is just for the dies. This is, this is for the dies. If you want the combo part number, Encircled in friends. Page 70. Uh, the bundle number is 155541. 155541. Yeah, the size paper I was using. I don't even think that was a half. Let me look. I have this right here. Oh yeah, it was like four and a half by seven. It was just a scrap piece that I had. Oh good, Shauna. All right, so it's just a smaller piece that I had from something. All right. So these are really pretty, better than I thought they were going to be. So I'm glad I, I got those. 
And then of course these can go on the inside and they've got some really pretty um, examples in the book. But I really like the sentiments on that. You can tell my shelf is going to be full. Okay, I have a great idea with this set. I can't share it, not going to tell you, but it will be on a video. Super cute set. Um, I kind of debated on getting it. My son wears ball caps. My husband doesn't. My son-in-law, uh, he does sometimes. Not a lot. Um, but I thought I have another, another idea with it. And so I decided that, yeah, I kind of needed to get this because I have a really fun idea that I wanted to share. But I kind of like that it gives you some different options because you could do this and then do something completely different in the middle. You don't need to do these things. And I like that it gives a little hat. I kind of wondered if this little cap fit on the girls. I don't have the girls from the catalog, but um, from the last one, but I think this would be really cute on smaller, a smaller image than the big one. But anyway, so I thought this was really cute. I have some ideas with it, so you'll have to wait and look for that. And again, you have this, but you could stamp them. This is to put your stitching on around the outside, and then you have your die to cut them out. Or you can use these and use something completely different with it. All right, now those are all the ones that came with dies. Now I'm going to show you these are all sentiment sets which I love. So through it together just has a ton of sentiments. I haven't even read them all. I just know when there's a stamp set with sentiments I'm going to get it. May your comeback be stronger than your setback. Well, that's just a fun, inspirational one. Uh, you're the proof there is good in the world. I mean, a lot of positive ones. I miss you. Hello, lovely. Follow your dreams. You're better than you think. Praying for blankets of healing around you and yours. I mean, some really nice sentiments. Um, let's see. Believe in yourself. With much love, I'm here for you. That is just sweet just by itself. I love you no matter what. Sending the, you this paper hug. Positive, positive thoughts that I really like. So any kind of sentiments, I'm there. Another one, biggest wish. Love the big font. Love the, the cursive. You could do happy birthday, happy birthday, hello, friend. So they, the, you know, big and small or all big. If you want to do happy birthday, that's a big focus with a lot of fun DSP, whatever. Love big fonts. Love the large cursive. Love this one. Create together forever. Celebrate friends. Where's friends? Over oh, right here. Celebrate friends. A happy hello. You could just do something, you know, just super cute. I love big fonts. I kind of wish like the happiest of birthdays, that big happy cursive pretty I wish they would come out with a little more of those like these that you know I like that you can put this together but I like the the big one that because our DSP is so unbelievable that I think some bigger fonts could make simple fun quick cards that are just so good now this one I have not even read again um sweet little baby and a happy one happy family so proud of you keep up the good work I love this happy birthday. I did see that, and I like the font. Celebrating you, pregnancy. So it could be congratulations on your pregnancy or happy pregnancy or whatever. I'm sure there's something in here. The happiest reason for feeling rotten. Lots of the happiest feeling. Oh, pregnancy. The happiest reason for feeling rotten. Well, that's the truth. Lots of luck. Not that you need it. A miracle worth waiting for. Congratulations. You made a little human. That's cute. Hey there, smarty pants. Could be cute like a graduation or, you know, something like that would be really cute. Some kind of accomplishment. I love your kind heart. Goo goo gaga. Cute. Baby talk for thank you. Just be you. Sure do love you. 
cute, different. I like it. So sometimes you're just looking for that sentiment that you're just not quite sure. Really like this one. To a person who still got it but can't remember where they put it, that would be me. Happy birthday when nothing goes right, go left. I'm sorry for what I said when I was hung hangry. Thanks for lending an ear and keeping a straight face. That I should use often. Don't grow up, it's a trap. Everything is figure outable. I love how the font's kind of wonky. Super cute. Plot twist. I hate to break it to you, but you're stuck with me, friends forever. Super cute, fun, fun. I like the lighthearted lines. Super cute. Okay, many happenings. I have two. Does anybody know why? Why, 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 why? Why do I have two? Because I'm going to cut one up, just like I did with many messages. This goes with the die for many messages. So the many happy, happenings and many messages are perfect. Um, look at the little happy retirement. It goes cute with that set that had the little tiny tags. I do too to Sean and Jennifer. I love the quirky stuff. Uh, I love that these are different fonts. Uh, Friends forever, happy retirement, sweet baby, love and hugs, just breathe. Love that one. I like just because. Just because is one of my favorite sentiments. <coughs> um, happily ever after with the Mr. and Mrs. The world needs more people like you. Make precious memories bring peace and comfort. Oh, may precious memories bring peace and comfort. The world needs more people like you. I like to kind of cut longer sentiments up and kind of put them sporadically on the front of my card. Thanks for being my friend. Bundle of joy. To and from. Perfect because it's just little. You did it. Congrats. Time to relax. The loss is immeasurable, but so is the love left behind. That is a really good one. Did you do a video on how you cut them up? I didn't, Jennifer, but I can. I have not cut this one up yet. And then what I do is I write cut on one of them. So like on my mini messages, I have the regular one and then I have the cut one. Um, and it worked out very nicely. It was super simple. Easier than I thought it was going to be. So those are a lot of sentiments. Now this one has more than... Oh, that's not it. This one has more than sentiments, but I liked it because of the vertical happy birthday. I really liked this um, because there's so many times that you're doing a card that's super busy that a, a um, sentiment going across just wasn't working for me or I didn't want to cover up my main image or whatever the case was. Um, so I really liked this that I could just put it down. I think it would be fun to do the leaves and then just cut this really closely and lay it like right on top, but then have some of these kind of sprouting out. And I also love the little dragonfly. So I'm super happy. And of course, this is this goes really well with the other sunshine set. Um, so super cute. This one I think is really nice because I like the idea of inking these up and then stamping on them. So for example, I think if we took a bold sentiment. So let's just see if I have something um, that would fit. Okay, let's see if the happy birthday, so here's my thought, where's happy birthday, they're probably bigger than, I, oh, it's part of this, but if you were to cut that, or if I could ink that up separately, you could take this, put your ink on one of these, and that one might not work, because it might be too small, but take something and ink it up, and then stamp it, and you'll have like, you know, like the kissing technique. I think this would be a lot of fun for the kissing technique and or just adding some solid color images on other items that you know you want to put in the background like you could stamp this on paper die cut it out or the circle and make this your sentiment and you know how you stamp off and just to add a little bit of color I think these would work out really well with sentiments. But in the catalog, there's also a great picture of using these in all different colors and stamping them on a card that I really like. So I like that idea a lot. 
shaded summer i love the sentiments and these i think would be fun to use your markers use your stamparatus so you could do your greenery you could do your flowers different colors the centers of your flowers a different color and then just keep stamping until you get the images that you want Oh, thank you, Sandy. Yeah, I'm super excited to get started. Um, I don't know anybody that is expecting a baby, but um, I wanted just something cute. And I was kind of iffy about these because this one looks a little scary. It, it, I guess it could be like a mischievous child. <laughs> this one just looks like they're up to something. But um, I thought this would just be kind of cute to, to do. And there's also, you could draw your own little face in. There's a lot of things you could do with it. Um, but I like the, the font. I like the sentiments. And um, I just thought this was kind of a cute set. I like the little, that they're little animals. And I thought that was cute. So I got it. All right, let's see what else I got. Okay, so here's that sunshine set. Again, I think this is just really cute, even just for this with some sun on it and kind of stamp it off in a background. I like the happy birthday and the thank you. I like the fonts. Um, so I thought that would be good. And there's a lot of sunshine sentiment. So I thought this would be kind of a good thing to work with it. Oh, I missed a sentiment set. Um, this one, again, thought you could use some sunshine thoughts your way. I mean, you could take this and just put a bunch of sunshines in the background. This is a pretty good size font. Make that your, you know, one of your main images and it would be perfect. Um, I like that they're bigger. Um, I know we've been out of touch, but I think about you more often than you know. And that's another one that's kind of fun to split up. Hoping your birthday is filled with all the best things. Thank you for all the little things you do and for your big heart. Again, super nice sentiments that I really like. Okay, we're getting to the end of the stamp sets. Uh, Daisy Gardens, if you know me, I love, love, love daisies. I'm going to hold off on that one for a minute because I've got a story to tell you. Um, after the Storm, I love this. I just think that is a background or a bold color night sky or image or whatever. I think this would be really cool to add it. Again, like sun rays just because right there and it's got that little the little hash marks in the font which is my kind of my kind of font I like that I don't know if it's grungy or distressed I don't know I think it goes good with this distress even the darkest night will pass and the sun will rise I mean somebody that's feeling down a little sunshine for your day and you have been on my mind another really nice positive one I think this is really cute and whimsical kind of. I like the branch and the bird houses. Now, something I saw online said that the bird houses are opposite. So when you stamp them, I want to take a look at it. When you stamp the images, they're going to stamp like this. But in the background, they're the opposite. Well, that's because they go like this. So I'm not sure what they meant because it's fine. On the front, it looks just like the front. On the back, it's going to be the total opposite, which it should be because they're facing upward. So unless something changed from when they saw it, mine looks fine. But I thought it was really cute. You could do a little, you know, little yard area on the bottom. You could have your birdhouses hanging from your branch super cute here's a pole that if you want to put your birdhouse just on a stick and I think that's shown in the catalog I think that's really cute and this could be very universal it's not flowers it's something different and I like that a lot all right I did get the bamboo set um, because I like the sentiments and I really like the new greens that we have and I thought that that would really show up on just some nice white crisp paper with a small border background of maybe a green 
um, and making it a really clean, simple card. So I thought that would be really pretty. Ooh, ooh, my stuff's falling off my desk. Um, so I thought that would be really cute. Grateful for all that you do. You are so loved. A true friend is one who holds your hand and touches your heart. I love that it's the the cap font and a cursive cute font. The bamboo that bends is, um, is stronger than the oak that breaks. This means friendship, I was told. So I think that is just, you know, a, a would be a really nice clean. Yeah, Christine, there is quite a bit I didn't get, but I did get a lot. This one, I think, would go really cool with the paper from the Simply Elegant stamp set. And I think that it would be just a nice, kind of like the bamboo, just an image with a nice stamp set that's a quote. Um, but I really got it for the brick. I really like the brick a lot. And so this was my main focus. But I think this would be kind of cool just to put a quote um, if somebody just needs a card, you know, like a congratulations. It's just kind of a, I don't know, like a scholarly looking card. Maybe a graduation, put that on there like they're going out. You know, it's like a doorway down there. It's like going into the world. I don't know. I just thought it was, it could, there could be a use for it. So I got it. This one, bunches of fun. Again, some really fun sentiments. These are kind of, kind of, um, I like the dog. He's super cute. I like the card in the thing with a bunch of bananas. Um, especially this one that says, the older you get, the better you get, unless you're a banana. Super cute. Ooh, Seattle Mariners is my, uh, that's where my son lives up there. Of course, he's a Giants fan, but she's a Mariners fan. Um, and then, and then it, she's kind of quirky. So I'm kind of interested. We're, I'm going to do some simple, fun cards in a class. So I'm going to use that. Best chapter. I like the larger font. And I liked this right here. Retire. That's a cute for a retire card. I've got several people retiring. I think that'd be cute. Um, the best chapter in your life is about to begin. Cute. So I really like these. Um, the banners, we're going to have to cut them out, which is not difficult. That's fine. We can cut those out. Um, so welcome to Parenthood. Congrats. I'm not big on banners just hanging out there in the sky. So if probably on one of my tree stamps, I would do the tree with, and then maybe put the banner in the tree or something. I don't know. Um, I don't want the banners just kind of floating out there. So I, I've got to think about how I'm going to do that one. Um, I loved the cupcakes. I love that the cake goes on and the frosting goes on there. The cherries are super cute. I like that you can, with the stamp rasp, of course, layer these up. So this is like a three layer. Green here, different colors there. So you could stamp the green and then have this and use your markers and use the different colors to, you know, overlay that. Our friendship tips the scale. Super cute. Um, you could just load up the cupcakes on there. I just thought, I thought this was kind of a cute thing to play with. You more than measure up. Love you more. Just, I thought this was really cute. And you could just do one cupcake. Like this cupcake right here is just kind of standalone. <coughs> so that would be a lot of fun. Hi, Debbie. All right. So that's it for the stamp set, but I have to, there's a couple, there's a few more things, of course, but this stamp set, I have to tell you, Art in Bloom, I loved, I loved everything about this, um, but I missed out and did not see the stamp set. I mean, the embossing folder and, and even though it's a bundle, so let me show you because I had to put in another order and I don't want you to miss out on it. It's on page 116, and of course I was doing it in the middle of the night. And for some reason I grabbed that number, and I did not grab the bundle number. And so, and I didn't even notice that you get an embossing folder, and you get the dies. 
and it looks like the embossing folder also die cuts. So it embosses your flowers and die cuts them. You'll love the new Bloom Hybrid Embossing Folder, which includes both dies and embossing folder. You'll get beautifully textured die cut images in seconds. So I think it's one of those folders that dies cuts the flowers and embosses them. But it also looks like it embosses by itself. So I'm not sure. And maybe that just looks like it die cuts and embosses. It does, Brie. Okay, so you have it. Good. Because it looks like that's what type it is. But then it looks like it embosses by itself and doesn't die cut. So I'm anxious to, to get that and see what it does. So... Yeah, Tishana, once I saw the darn this and I missed it, and I already knew I missed it before I even left Washington, so I already ordered it. The three flowers die cut and emboss, as you can emboss the whole thing without the dies. Yeah, see, that's awesome. So I'm really happy about that. So this is going to be fun. And I like this. You're a rare find, nev uh, never not loving you, dear friend. Thanks for making me happy. So just super cute. So I got that. So don't miss out on the bundle. Make sure when you buy your stamp sets that you get the bundle. All right, so that is it on stamps. So really quickly, I'm gonna show you some embellishments. I, I did get some kits, so I'm gonna show you those. Let me just get this out of the way here so I don't knock everything over, because I will. I have a tower. No problem, Laura. What was that? What was that? I'm not sure what you're saying. What was that? What, Debbie? Okay, so the flower market is a large die, and it has little flowers. So for this, it's got leaves, but they're all individual, okay? So it's got leaves and little flowers and stuff. So what I'm thinking is you could cut it out in different colors and then piece it together. Okay, so you could piece them together and then have a very colorful background. Laura, it was nice having you here too. So just, you know, look at the time, how, how far we're in. I know it's got to be five hours by now. And then just <laughs> go back to that spot. I appreciate you coming back. So you could just fill these in or you could take these little flowers and add them into something if you want to. Um, it's a little different than what I thought it was, but I think it could be a lot of fun. Just run, you know, five different colors and then just piece them up and do it in white or, or black or whatever and add some fun colors in there. Thanks, Terry. Okay, so this doesn't have a matching set. This one doesn't either, but look how cool this is. So I think this branch would be perfect for the... Okay, now I'm going to bring you in a little bit. This is would be perfect for the birdhouses. So this is really kind of a a um, cool branch. The last one I was talking about, Debbie, was um, I think it's called All in Bloom. Let's see. We'll see if I can find it. I didn't have the embossing folder or Art and Bloom. I didn't have the embossing folder or the dies. I had to reorder them. So um, that's what this one is, Art and Bloom. Okay, but look at these. So you have the mushrooms, a bird, a Looks like a wasp. That does not look like a bee to me. It looks like a wasp. Um, so you've got flowers. You've got this detailed, some leaves, a different kind of flower, and then this fern. So this, again, could go great with the plants if it's something you want to just stick it in. Exactly, Terry. That's another really good idea. Hang your, hang your macrame from that branch. Yep. So here's just some different things that I think could work in uh, different stamp sets. So that's kind of fun. It's called Iconics. Iconic. And then there's just some different images. This one, give it a whirl. I did go back and order the little Stellar page because I think it's so stinking cute. I meant to get it and I thought, you know what? I can't get everything, so let's just 
hold off. But then I realize it really works best with this. So you have your page you're going to cut out. And of course I'll do a video on this. You're going to have your image like this. And so this turns. Okay, so your, your little brad, which we might as well bring our brads in. So we have black and white brads. And they're large and small. The small ones are circles. Okay, so there's some two different sizes. Oops. Oops. And they're nice and long. So let's see. So there's our black and our white. I know you can't see it very well. But then we also have the squares. So we have black and white. So everything's black and white. And I think those are the only two images we have in here. So you're going to take a brad and you're going to, once you have your cardstock, you're going to put it together and you're going to align your circles right there so you can put your brad in on your paper. You're going to take your, this piece here, and you're going to cut this on your piece of paper. Okay, so this will be on your top, top piece of paper. Thanks, Christina. Hi, Heather. Um, so this will go on your top piece of paper, and you're going to cut it on top. So this is your paper. This is in behind it. That way, when you turn this, the image will focus through this little cutout, and it's stitched. It's really cute. Okay, so when you turn your little images that you can create with all your little doodads here, and then you can have your image focusing through here, okay? So you could use other things, but I think the little stellar space set is going to be super cute. Oh, Brie, you're welcome. Good night. Thanks for joining me. All right, so again, this goes on top. This is your piece of paper, and then this is what you're going to be turning. So it's nice that they gave us a little template for that. And then there's all kinds of other little pieces that I still need to figure out. So we could put this on here, I'm guessing. I'm not sure why. That would be different. And maybe this is where a sentiment pops through. Like you would type your sentiment here, but this is going to be, you know, aligned like this. And you're going to have sentiments there. Thinking of you, just because, whatever. And we're going to put, we're going to die cut that out. And this gives you your spacing. So you know it is spaced correctly in your spot. And then your image would be nice and and uh, even right in the middle of, of these. Okay, so that kind of gives you that idea. I know, Debbie, there's a lot to think about. So anyway, you have little hearts, same thing, You could, like you said, with pictures. You could take your heart image and then put pictures right there. And everybody would see the pictures and that would be super cute. So there's just a lot of different things you could do with this and make it super cute. So, and personalize it and, and do all kinds of things. There's little arrows that you can put on there that says which way to turn it. Um, there's just all kinds, all kinds of fun stuff. So I have this on two panels and this is give it a whirl. I think the stellar set, but you could use like the badgers and you know, just all kinds of different sets I think would go in there. So that's that. This set is so cute, and I did not get, oh, that's okay, Janet, I'm glad you're here. I feel like I'm just chatting away, because I've been gone for a week, and I'm, I'm looking at this kind of for the first time, I kind of threw everything together, but not really looked at it. This set is really cute. They show it with those little animals, um, like they're poking their heads out, and I think that's cute. So I wasn't going to get the animals. Um because I kind of had a different idea, but I really think my grandkids would like it. So I ended up ordering the animals so they could put their little heads through here. And I just think it's really cute. And I'm kind of thinking of at the top, maybe pulling it up and having the animals pop out, you know, kind of like the colorful cards where they're not colorful than they are. So that's kind of my thought is to do at the top, 
a white panel with you know saying thinking of you or whatever and then when you pull it up you could see the colorful animals or doing the black and white with the animals and then the colorful animals something like that so um, I think I'm going to play with that and um, see what I can come up with and then this one I just think is is really cute too for different different things and don't forget these cut out and stitch so if you want a bunch of different size circles or rectangles, you can use those for that. You don't even have to use this as the panels. You could just use the rectangles and the circles. So that's another really good option with this for all kinds of reasons. Okay, the last die is the layering diorama. I like in the catalog how it looks like water and then... Um, so you can make it layer it up looking like a pond or water. I think this would be really cute with the um, the host set that has the frog. Let me look. Host set with the frog should be in the back right here. Yes. So these are the host sets. And I think with the frog, we could take this and layer it up with like a pond and either put the swan on it or the frog. I'm not really thrilled with this set, um, but I think it would be kind of cute with this. And then put your, what are these, fo not foxtails, what are these things called? Maybe they are foxtails. Fox, fox something, I thought. But anyway, you could take those and have them on there with your water in the middle. And I think that would be really cute with this. Um, and I kind of do like his smirk. You could put his little crown on his head. It's kind of cute. Cattails. Yes, thank you. Cattails. I couldn't remember. I haven't seen one in, since I was a child. But anyway, I think that is a really, really kind of fun. You, can you hear my kitty? She's out the door crying. Since we've gotten home, she's kind of like not leaving me alone because she thinks we're leaving again. Um, so anyway, something to think about for that. Um, all right, so that's that. We're going to get to the kits right after I show you these. Again, love, love, love these. I highly recommend when they are available, you grab them. They are so pretty. And like I said, I've got like three left on my first pack. Um, I got these. I kind of like the circles better than the squares, but um, I think they're going to be different and kind of fun to play with anyway. And I kind of wish they were in the new colors, not the older colors, but um, I got them anyway because I'm going to try them. Yeah, it's my kitty. She, whenever I leave and come back, she just does not leave me alone. She thinks we're leaving. No, it's a kitty. She's outside, out the door. Um, I bought more of these. I think they're so cute. I'm anxious to play more with those. So I'll show you those. And these I was really impressed with. Um, this goes with the planted set. I forgot to show you. The paper lattice. They come with that bundle. And I really, really like them. How many do you get? You get 10 of them. And they're way better than I thought they were. So they're, I mean, it's still kind of, they're flimsy. Like, you know, they're not like super hard, but they're nice. Um, they kind of remind me of, what did we have like this? I don't remember. But, I mean, I don't want to bend it because, I mean, they're like it's chipboard, but like the thinnest chipboard you can think of. Um... Yeah, it's just, I guess it's wood. I don't know if it says. I don't know, but I really like them. They're way better than I thought they were. And I think these would be so cool to hang the macrame off or put little shelves on and put your plants on. I mean, there's a lot that we could do with this, but there's other thoughts that I have for these also. So those are going to be a lot of fun to play with. All right. So some embossing folders. We are getting to the kits super shortly. I promise. 
Um, this one says Donke, Don, Donke, I think is thank you. Um, this is thanks, grazie. These are all different languages. It says thanks. This is a lot of hello in different languages, but hello is very prominent there. Thanks is there. Merci, so um, bonjour. So they're kind of in different places. It seems like the English is in the same spot, but French is up here for uh, hello and down here for thank you. Oh, merci beaucoup, and they have it, thank you very much. So there's just some different different languages on here, which I think is a lot of fun, especially for a background. I love to get things and then kind of really like, oh, look at this, and kind of figure things out and look at it. So I like that. You could run a ribbon through. Yes, you could run ribbon through it, Terry. I did think about that, too. Or at least tie a bow on it. It'll be easy, too. That's okay, Debbie. You got to just keep, it'll come. Um, years and years of new catalogs and trying new things and you'll start thinking about it. Again, I like to put my labels on there. Um, I should have put one and two so I knew that there was two. But because it says thanks and hello and I'm noticing one only has thanks on it, I'm going to know there's a hello. This one is called Checks and Dots. Love it. Love checks and dots. I, I can tell I'm getting tired because I'm leaning forward and now I'm getting off the screen. Sorry. I'll look at that. So love checks and dots. So fun. These are going to be really fun to do some inking with also. Here is more of a Christmas. Um, wintry 3D. Okay. So that doesn't tell me cut um, checks and dots or, you know, whatever. So wintry, I put one and two. So now I have, no, this one's snowflakes. And then this one is like pine, pine needles. So these are really fun. These are going to be really great for winter. Can ribbon be embossed? Ooh, Bonnie, that's a good question. I don't think I have ever embossed ribbon. I'm guessing if it was thick enough that you could like see the image. But if you did just like polka dots or something on it, I don't know. I'll, let me see if I have something thick enough to try. Remind me in a little bit and I'll try and do, I'll pull out the polka dot one because that would seem a smaller image would be easier to do and we'll try it. Okay, so this one's called Pretty Flowers. And I really like this. I think this one would be really a great one to do some inking on. And even like some with your markers. You could do, not your alcohol, but your regular markers. Um, you could do your leaves and your flowers and then sponge a little bit with your daubers on here and get your images and then emboss them. And I think that would be super cool. That would be a really fun. I like the solid images. It's This one's not a 3D. Okay, can, um, is the Snowflower one different from last year? I think it was. Let me look. Yes. Yes, it's different. This one has um, like little whimsical flurry type things inside and polka dots. And so, and then some of the snowflakes, like the snowflakes, some of them look a little familiar. This one not, but maybe these. Um, but I like all the little whimsical uh, it looks like they're stitched or dotted and then they've got little polka dots in between so I think it's diff definitely different I like it and maybe you can see it on this a little bit better so see how it's got the whimsical and then it's got like more prominent snowflakes and then less prominent and then it's got the little po polka dot like snowflake in, in inside so yeah I like it all right this I cut the edges I have not opened it or at least I think I cut the edges. This is the Soft Pastels. Okay, I know this video is going long, you guys. I appreciate you hanging out. This is my first time looking, too. So here's some white paper. Okay, this is going to get messy. I, I know it. So let's see. Because I know pastels are kind of messy. Okay, so here's pastels. 
And I think if you had an embossing folder, you could do something like this on it. And then I think if you take, let me see what I have over here. My thing is dragging on my wall. I need to, okay, I think I have one with water in it. I just have to find it. Okay, this one, I don't know what I used for it, but it's got green water in it. It's an old one, but we're going to just use it anyway. All right, so I have green water in it, but you could color. See how it's, see how I have little dust right here that came off on it? So you could do some coloring and different stuff with that. Let's do another one. I'm going to try it out, right? All right, so let's do some green. Um, it, so it's like chalk, but it's not like it's not all over my fingers, which is a good thing. I'm just kind of doing this messy just because I want to kind of see what it does. So there it is with the water. I think if you put it dry on an embossing folder and then spritz it with water or something, it, yeah, Samantha, it is like chalk. Oh, I'm glad you guys are enjoying it. So I think this would be fun if we embossed, like I said, lay this over and color it a little bit and then spritz it. Um, with some water or something would be kind of fun. So we'll play with these definitely in a video and see what those are about. All right, Bonnie, I won't forget to emboss your ribbon, but we are going to move on. This is one ribbon I didn't show earlier because I thought it was thicker. See how thick the package is? And so I was like, oh, that's kind of thick. But hello, read it, Marcy. Um, let me find the end. It's right here. But once I read it, I'm like, oh, I think I'm going to love this ribbon. So let me get it. This, I think, will be on Christmas cards. I can tell you that. Probably the plant cards. Because look at this ribbon. And look, you can, let me see if I cut it. Let's see if it unweaves. Okay, let's hold it. Let's see if it unravels a little. It does, well, it doesn't really unravel. I mean, I'm pulling on it and it's not something, because it's like a braid, but it's not going to really unravel in like what you're going to like. Because see how it's coming undone? So it's not really something that frays or whatever. So let me just get a clean cut on this. Okay, I'm trying to read here. Let me tell you. Can you use with a blender pen? Oh, the chalks? Oh, I'm sure. Let me grab a blender pen. Where did my blender pen go? Here we go. Well, let's see. I'm betting so. Let's go to a different color. Ooh, this one's green. Let's try this dark green. I want to see if these are colors. I got Coastal Cabana, Daffodil Delight, Gorgeous Grape, Granny Apple Green, Mango Melody, Mossy Meadow, Night of Navy, and Poppy Parade. So this is going to be Mossy Meadow. Let me find my pen. My. All right, so this is Mossy Meadow. Okay, I just, I'm kind of laying it down as I do it. I don't know that that's right or wrong. But I don't really want to put it on a tip or on a corner. I kind of wanted it laid down a little more. All right, so this, let me see if I can find a, this one, this is probably six years old. I'm sure it'll still work, but let me see if I have a newer one that, like the rest of the world would have. Okay. There we go. Let's just pull out a new one because mine are really old. Okay, so we can do it this way and color it so it does blend in nicely. 
Okay, so you can do that. I'm wiping it off now because I'm going to use it. Now you could, like you could open these up kind of like paint. And, okay, I'm going to wipe this off. See, it shows green, but there's really not a lot of green. So I'm going to do that. And actually, I would probably stick to the top where you're using it so you can keep your bottom kind of solid. And if you wanted to, like, add a little bit of color to something, see, I'm going over the same spot. You don't want to do that. But, yeah, you could bring in color. It's not bringing a lot in. And I'm on the wrong kind of paper, so it's probably not the best paper to use this on. Let me see. If I use this, okay, so I'm using a wet brush, and I like the use of this a lot better. Now, this is an old brush that I had, but this one, I really like this a lot better, and especially if you want a lighter color. I think this is the way to go. Oh, Linda, we've been on for hours. <laughs> yes, shimmer white paper definitely is what I would use also. So I do really like it with the paintbrush. You can see right here on the blue, um, and it dries really quick on your chalk, but it kind of gives you a really nice watercolor look. I'm loving this with... Um, with this and then you could you could change it up and you could let me get a little more water on here you could add green now with your blue and again here I am thinking turtle okay so and then we're gonna add some purples but see how it just kind of fades in and I'm so on the wrong kind of paper but yeah Especially if you want it on, like, um, yes, Karen, I'm live. I'm still, still here. So, yeah, I would, I would think I prefer using a paintbrush, using one of our aqua brushes to, to do these, especially doing colors and especially doing the lighter colors. But if you use shimmer or watercolor paper, of course, you can layer it up and do more. Okay, sorry, I had to get a drink. So this ribbon is thinner than I thought. It is about three eighths, which is pretty much my favorite size. Um, and I really, really like it. Just to have it on the background or something, I'm really liking this ribbon. It's thinner than I thought. And of course, I bought more ribbon. I bought two more ribbons, I think. So I love, 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 love the ribbon. Okay. So, putting that aside, everything is done except the kits. Yay! Time for the kits. Nope. One more thing. Sorry, so sorry. Oh, look. I bought two more of these. That's what I did on my second one. Um, this went with the peach set, you guys, and I forgot to show you these. And I'm going to show you, if you are going to be in my peach class, you're going to get a sneak peek. These are the cutest little jars. They're plastic, okay? And they are four ounces for liquid. I saw somebody post today. It's four ounces. But I'm going to show you what I'm going to do with them. Okay, this is the sneak peek for my class. Let me grab something. I don't know why it's in a Ziploc bag. Maybe because somebody opened it. <laughs> I... I'm going to do these cute little peach candies. And I have to tell you, of course, before I put them in my class and people try them, oh my gosh, they smell so good. I had to try them. And they're absolutely fabulous. So, I'm going to put these cute little peach candies, five pounds, Haribo, I don't know, Gummy Candy Peach. And we're going to decorate our thing to Shauna. Aren't they to die for? Oh my gosh. I better hurry up and have, this is a June class, you guys. And you know what's going to happen? 
I'm going to have this much left, so I'm going to have to order another one. Um, we're going to decorate this, and I'm going to have some little tongs, and they're going to put some little candies in there for themselves. Um, but there's so many things. Is it possible that your camera is not focusing anymore? Oh, I hope so. Maybe because I'm moving things in and out, it's getting a little wonky. Uh, so these are really cute to decorate. You could decorate the lid and you can, you know, make it all peachy cute. You could add a strip of DSP and put something on the front or just add some ribbon or, you know, all kinds of things. So I did get a couple boxes of these because I'm going to do my class. Oh, good. I'm glad it's working for you guys. Yes, the candy's on Amazon. Yeah. So I think that's a super cute idea um, for a little gifty. You know, even people, you know, teach it in your class and they could give it to little coworkers or little coworkers, give it to coworkers or whatever. Um, but these are really, really cute for little treats for, um, all kinds of things so i'm loving that all right now kits yay kit number one okay so let me talk about kits super quick because there's a lot of positive negative about the kits i'm positive about it because i have a lot of people that are new to crafting in my in my in-person classes and online I have a lot of people online that are that are new and I think that it would be a perfect way to start um, crafting I think it's a perfect thing to take with you like if we take our motor home and go somewhere I'm gonna grab something and take it now am I gonna just take the kit probably not for myself because I am more a more experienced crafter so I'm gonna do like I would with the paper pumpkin and I'm gonna step it up change it up and I'm going to do some different things with it and stretch a lot of material. I try, Diana, but sometimes it's really hard. Thank you. Jennifer, it is an in-person class and I'm kind of, I'm kind of thinking my in-person classes. Okay. So you guys, if you give me your thought on it, I'm thinking about my in-person classes. I could cut all the materials and do pictures of my cards and then send the materials to you if you have the stamp set and the you know embellishments whatever or i could do embellishments but you would have to stamp images but i probably wouldn't do videos on them um just because between my videos i do online and now i'm going to be doing my paper pumpkin alternative videos that it's really hard for me to do class videos also and then i have my in-person people that I don't know I, I'm trying to figure that out but I know there's a lot of people that have been asking about my classes uh, being available online too so I'm, I'm kind of trying to figure that out yeah Sandra if you leave and come back hopefully it'll be better that's what a lot of people have been needing to do okay back to the kits so think about the kits if I were to take this kit which this one tends to be my favorite right now if I were to take this kit, I would get some paper that goes with it, uh, some cardstock, um, definitely some more adhesive, and my trimmer, and I would probably uh, embellish when I got back if I was going on a trip. So, hi Bonnie. Yes, Karen, I don't want to do too many videos and overwhelm people, but I want it to be fair to the people that are in my class versus online also so it's kind of a hard mix but so looking at the kits I think my main thing is new customers I want to do I want to change it up and show alternatives for my more experienced people but also for my new people to see that wow you could do a lot with this kit so you could do it just as simple as you want it or you could really change it up so let's open up the first kit because I'm going to be doing these kits as alternatives and um, do some different things. I think this one is just adorable. So this one is called, okay, so here's, we're backing up a bit. This one, the sticker is on the box. This one, the sticker is on the plastic. I prefer, I like that they're plastic, but I want the sticker on the box because I don't wanna have to cut this out, 
put it in a box so I know what the name is. I guess I could just write it on there. But I also think these boxes are really super cute to reuse. Okay, so I kind of like... I, I kind of like it on the bottom so I know what it is, but I like it on the plastic so I can reuse the box and it's not stuck on the bottom. So it's a give and, give, give and take on this. So I, what I think I would prefer is on plastic, I can take the one on the plastic and just put removable adhesive or something and stick it in. So that's kind of, I don't know, that's kind of my thought. All right, so a lot of these, yes, they were paper pumpkins. And so they will be coming out with new ones and new kits on my Facebook page. When you go to my Facebook page at the top, it says available kits. So my understanding is with the kits, we are going to be coming and going with different kits. Now, these do not go live for customers until June. So the beginning of June, you can get these kits. So keep that in mind, number one. Number two, if you're interested in just kits, if you go to my blog and just click available kits, they'll all be listed there when they are all live. So you can go and check there and see what's current. Um, it is while supplies last, so they may come and go. And this will give you um, a one, one click shot to all the kits. Okay, so this is what it looks like. Let me move it over here so you can kind of see it, not with the glare. We have adhesive and look, oh no, look. Okay, so here's the adhesive. We have dimensionals, I mean uh, glue dots. Look at these. These I've not seen before. Okay, I did not get this kit. If this was a stamping up uh, paper pumpkin, I didn't get it. So look how pretty these are. They're iridescent, but they're more of a pearly, they've got a lot of purpley to them. Really pretty. We do have mini dimensionals. We have envelopes and, oh, different colors. So we have blue. We have two blue, two green with butterflies, ooh, and three pink. Two, oh, no, three. Three, three, and three. So there's nine cards. Okay, wait. Eight cards. I have two blue. Let's, let's make sure it's eight. Um... Just making sure it says one kit okay so let's pull the directions out yeah I don't know because I started last January again so I was gone for several years and so um, I don't know if these were paper pumpkins or not but my understanding is they're gonna come and not all be See, look at these directions, too. They're nice and big. I'm loving that. And so it's showing you use dimensionals on here. Use rhinestones on here. Use dimensionals. Look at on your... So it shows use dimensionals on your sentiment. Use dimensionals in your four corners when you put your panel up. So these are really nice step-by-step. I know, Jennifer. Now, if you're a demonstrator, you can only get one of each kit now. And then in June, free free will. Just get what you want. Okay. So I'm loving the sentiment. I mean, I'm loving the directions. Nice and big. A little note of cheer. Oh, that's a different language. No wonder I couldn't read it. Okay. So this one, you'll notice, does not have stamps. Okay. So... Let's look. We have our envelopes. Okay, we already went through that. And our dimensions. Dimensionals, our glue dots, our rhinestones. Oh, here's my other blue one that was missing. So there's nine cards. Our card bases. Okay, these are just white. Oh gosh, see? Here's what I'm talking about. We could cut this butterfly okay they're using it as a regular butterfly card with the pink envelope see right here but you could cut that in half use this as a butterfly and do something completely different with that 
So there's that. Really fun. I love this butterfly. Okay, now look at this. So pretty. Different prices. This one, I believe, was $12 because there's no stamp set in it. And then the ones with stamp sets were 19 And so I think they just differ. depends on what's in the kit. But they're making them really reasonable because especially with new people, um, they can try, you know, different different things with it. And this is really to, to get used to using stuff. Ooh, this is pretty. And look how pretty this would be if you put the butterfly on there. So pretty. So there's different things you could try. These butterflies are what they have on here. So they have that completely. They're not cut out. See, so they're kind of like those C ones that we did where they're partially cut but they're overlaid right here and there's no die cut for them but they go right on top now you could put this inside an embossing folder and emboss this whole piece is what i'm thinking and then you can put it up there you're still going to get that butterfly image i'd be a little afraid that it would break these so i'm not sure how i how i'm thinking about that but so those are super pretty and look at these sentiments you guys Remember, they're different languages, so the first one, you make life brighter, a little note of cheer, love the font, love the big, um, oh, these are all the same, oh, look at, and then you have, I'm here for you today and always, you have three of them, and then you have three of these, which, let me find the English, you're on my mind and in my heart, oops, I'm going off screen, sorry, you're on my mind and in my heart really cute so those are all the sentiments and they're really nice like this one's not english let's pull it out and then you would cut your take these poke them out so you'd have your little sometimes i like to poke them and then pull your image up because if they're kind of being a little fussy, that's how. Okay, so there's that. Yeah, you're right. It is the in colors. So that makes sense. Yes, yeah, a stencil. You could do it. Look at this. So the blank cards. All right, so the butterflies. Okay, let's back up. You have these go with those. And then you have blank. And then you have the butterflies by themselves. And then you have blank cards, which you're going to put these on. This is a super cute set. Look at this. Oh my gosh. Look how cute that is. And then it looks like you take this. I want to make sure they're not sticky. They're not. And you just put that over that. And then this little one here. See how the ruffle is just on the bottom? Let me find English. I am here for you today and always. So a little note of cheer. And these are nice and thick. I am here for you today and always. So you just want to stick that under there. Look how cute that is. Super cute. So this is one of the kits that I really, really, really will be buying more of these. I love the envelopes. I love these. So pretty. I'm really happy with this kit. I'm anxious to see more. Now there is another kit that I bought and it is a paper pumpkin that I know I bought when I was not a paper pumpkin uh, or paper pumpkin when I was not a Stampin' Up! demonstrator. All right, and look at these boxes are nice and handy for all kinds. They don't say paper pumpkin, they just say stamp it up. So I'm hoping they're going to start putting the sticker on the plastic because um, I want to be able to use, reuse these. All right, so here's one I haven't opened yet. I don't even remember what it is. I bought five of them, so we'll 
we're almost done. As you guys are probably like, oh my gosh, is she ever going to quit? I haven't seen everything and I want to. Alright, so see what I do with this is I will cut this. Going through the two sheets here and just cut it and I don't I don't fuss about going through the plastic if it's doubled up it'll I'll cut it and then I'll just separate it like this one didn't but sometimes I get the other plastic all right so I'm gonna leave this one in here so I know what it is so this one's called a little smile card kit okay this one has a stamp set so it's coastal cabana and this one says, thank you, it means so much. Okay, I'm going to read it off of here because I'm trying to read. Here we go. Oh, no, you're not going to see it that way. I love palmy, beachy stuff. Just a little smile. Thank you, it means so much. My day is better because of you. You made my day special. And you are amazing. Super cute. That's perfect, Deb. I have one that I do still have. So, all right. So, let you guys want me to open it? I'm just going to open them all. Just so you can see. Because I am anxious to see. So, we might as well check it out. Okay, so we have ink. We have our stamp set. I don't know if you can see it better in there. There we go. Oh my gosh, this is cute. I didn't even, okay, so I didn't even notice this. Okay, I'm going to put this in so I don't lose it. I know it's on my, my page here. All right, so you have your block, which I usually gift to somebody. Oh my gosh, these are so cute for little note cards. So you've got some little note cards. I love coastal stuff too. So you've got these and you've got, oh, okay, so on the one side, they're solid, but on the front side, and these wouldn't go in the mail, I would assume. These are going to be little gift cards. Nice to have to toss in a package. So when you have something like this, my suggestion, of course, is to get gift bags that are either white that you can decorate. We have a bunch of seashell stuff, or get these kind of colors. And then this would be a little cute gift card to put inside. So these are really cute. I'm guessing this is Coastal Cabana and um, Old Olive. Yeah, Coastal Cabana, Crumb Cake, and Old Olive. Again, let's look at the directions. Nice and big. I love it. Love, love, love the directions. Super simple for new people. Love it. Here's some cards. So here's our, oh, okay. So we have these. I'm glad too, Susan. I'd be doing this on my own right now anyway, because I'd be oohing and on all by my lonesome. Okay, let's see. We have, okay, so we have two of those. Oh, I love this. We have two of these. We have two of these. Oh, look at, this is um, kind of, I don't know if this is the white um, shimmer paper, but it looks like it. Okay, then there's that. We have the fun seashells that are glimmer. And then we have these that look like they're more vertical than horizontal. Then, oh my gosh, look at, these are for the sentiments and they're like wood panel. Okay, now I'm getting a weird glare because it's white probably. It's like a wood panel um, sentiments. Oh my goodness, I have to get another one of these. Okay, so look at the palm trees. Oh my gosh. All right, I am way happier than I thought I was going to be. Look at, you can add your little palm tree. Oh my goodness. And then they have May your day, see, my day is better because of you is what they put right there. How cute is that? So you would just put your sentiment on here. 
and add it on here. How stinking cute are these? Yeah, it does kind of look like shiplap. So cute. Oh my gosh. Okay, so and then you've got different palm trees by themselves and leaves. And then you have this, which I don't even know. I'm so excited right now. Okay. The, this is a little pouch that you put your cards in. How cute is this? Pearlized paper. Oh, that would look really pretty with this. Okay, so this is a really cute set to put all your cards. Okay, so I'm going to get another one of these. Okay, so here's your glue dots. This, I'm trying to see which one this is on. Oh, so this one, your card's like this. You're going to put this on here on the front. You're going to put a green leaf. Look how easy this is. Oh my goodness. Okay, you're going to put a green leaf at the top. Okay, you guys, I am getting a little excited more than I thought I would. The, a gift, Diana. That's a great idea. And then look at this. And then that. And then the twine. Oh, and then we forgot the sentiment. The sentiment says, just a, a little smile. And so you're going to put your little label right across. It says, just a little smile. And you're going to pop those right up on top and add a little twine. I mean, how cute. All right. Okay. I got these because I was thinking... You know with my class and my beginner stampers I thought this would be a really fun idea plus it's a nice easy get and go or for my downline to show their customers and I love these two a lot okay I'm super happy Debbie I am I am so happy right now because I was like yeah okay um, I'm glad I'm opening them. Okay, this one's called a petal. Now, this one I haven't seen. Petal note card kit. Okay, this one has it on the bottom. <laughs> I cannot believe how long I've been on here. You guys are rock stars for staying with me. Right, Sandy? Okay, so these are like gold and pink. The pink is like iridescent um, sequins. Fun. We have some envelopes. So there's one. Oh, I think I'll move you back out just a little bit now. Okay. Are they all the same? Oh, maybe they are. Oh, wait. Okay, so this one has stripes. They're all the same in the front. This one has polka dots. And this one has little blue triangles. And then this is what they look like in the front. Okay, so you can't really see because it's really hard. But um, there you go. Stripes, polka dots, and little triangles. They're really faint, hard to see. But this is what the front looks like. There's our sequence. Okay, here is our directions. There is no stamp in this. So it's all punch out stuff again. Super cute. Okay, I'm not going to put the whole thing together, but um, here's our triangle cards. Here are some flowers, which so looks like they just have congratulations. And this has splatter. These are so cute that, and they've got such fun elements that I don't honestly think that you don't really have to change a bunch on these. So I think these are going to be great for class. And it kind of, the idea is, 
it kind of gives you the idea like, oh, I can stamp a sentiment and put it in the middle of DSP. And that was, that's the whole thing is put some DSP on there, take a congratulations, stick it on there, add some of your little sequins and you're done. You can make it as simple as that. You could also layer it, put a dark piece behind it, add that on top. And that's the kind of stuff that I'm going to try and change up so that I can show that you can do it yourself. Now these are stickers. Yeah. Look how pretty those are. So those are stickers. Um, but they can do it themselves. How simple. And you've got flowers and leaves. And you even have gold. Oh, and larger blue dots. So, perfect. Oh, thanks, Diana. Oh, you guys are welcome. I like to see... I mean, I even watch people and, and do their stuff because... Number one, I like to see their excitement and what they like, what they don't, why they like it, why they don't. Um, I tend to like everything. That's my problem. But doing videos, I told my husband, honey, I do videos. I have to have a lot so I can share and show. And he said, of course you do. He knows me well. Okay, so now, hold on. I need a drink. All right, we are almost done. Two more. All right, this one is called Sentimental Rose Card. As somebody told me it was a paper pumpkin, but I thought it was so cute, and I didn't have it. So, and all my customers that come to my class did not have it. Great granite. Look how pretty that is. Here is the stamp set. It's got a lot of sentiments on it. I colored on my white piece of paper. So this was my update for my baseball thing at the beginning. If you came in late, like three hours later after I started, um, there's a lot of announcements at the beginning. So don't miss that. Oh, nice, Deb. Distinctive is like my favorite. I love them. Okay, so it's a really pretty rose. It says best wishes. So see, this is all new to me, and it will be to my customers. I love this happy birthday. Happy Super Bold, and then um, birthday is all cap, which I like. Congratulations. Thank you. Thinking of you. Happy Mother's Day. Ooh, kind of late. It's this weekend, but um, that is a really good one to have in the future. I like that. Mother's is nice and bold. Um, low, uh, is initial cap, and then happy and day is, is all cap, which I like. So I like that a lot. Okay, so that's the stamp. Let's open it up. Again, another block, which I'll gift. Um, I like to give them, to, especially to my new, my new customers that um, have not stamped or people that come to my class and they're a friend of a friend and they want to start stamping, put an order in, and so I'll give them that. Let's give them, and then I also usually save my my dimensionals and and my um, glue dots and that kind of thing. All right, so let's look again. Okay, so back in the day, I just remember the stamping up instructions being so small, and I know my eyesight's not getting bigger. This is way better. I tend to look at the picture and just go from there. I don't always read the directions, but I tend to change it up too. Oh my. Okay, so this is, these are panels. Okay, so we have some really cute enamel kind of button things and some white twine, some dimensionals, gray granite. Here are some panels. Here are some other panels. Ooh, corrugated. Corrugated paper. Oh, I like this. Look at that. It's like pastels and there's splatters. Give me some gorgeous grunge type stuff any day. Yes, I still have my stamp set. All right, so we have envelopes. We have some green print. Looks like macaroon maybe. I'll read it. 
And we have some circles with lines in them, like a geographical, not geographical, what do you call it? Ooh, these are pretty. Have, okay, so these are going to go with this. I'm trying to read it. Mm, I think it's going like this. Oh, maybe it does go like this. I don't know. I'm going to have to read that. All right, it's hard to tell. Okay, then we have this because we're going to do a box. Looks like there's a box in here somewhere. Here's some more paper. So pretty. Ooh, I love anything with typing. I'm a typist, so... Or used to be. My husband's like, oh yeah, geometric, thank you. My husband's like, you're not a typist anymore. I said, yeah. Bet me. Let's do a typing test. He backed out immediately. Okay, so, let's see. I don't see a box. Maybe I'm reading it wrong. Maybe this is the box. I don't know. I'm not going to do it now, but we have a banner. Oh, oh, oh. I bet you this goes around a half, like a half box to put. Oh, yeah, here we go. Look at that. Blunt typing. That was my favorite. Okay, so here's a, the, one of the clear boxes with this. I'm guessing this is when they introduced the box, too. Right, Kathy? Okay, so these are punched out, so you can do your... These go behind your sentiment. You're going to layer them up on top. Ooh, this goes on your box. Look how pretty it is. Right here. And as you're toying around it. And then here's your sentiment. You're going to stamp on here. And then like this one, they have this one stamped. And then they have it layered up on here. Oh, no, wrong one. What do they have this one on? Oh, this one, they have the Happy Mother's Day on this one. So there's just a lot of them here that you can kind of play with. So lots of fun stuff. Is this a sticker? No. So this rose, really pretty. I love this. This is really cute. And looks what they did is they took a panel, and I don't know if it's this one or the other one, but they took a panel and they put it here, and then they stamped the rose right here in the, in the gray granite. And then they took that Happy Mother's Day, popped it up on here, and then they put some twine going down right here. So really cute. Okay, I'm really happy with this one too. Diana, I took um, 17 Gorgeous Posies. Oh, is it Gorgeous Posies? Is that the name of that set? Gorgeous... Yeah, posies, I think. I loved that kit. I made 17 of them and gave them as gifts. Hi, Diana. Or, hi, Robin. And gave them all as Christmas gifts. So, this is a perfect idea. You may not have crafters in your family or whatever, but trust me, they love getting cards that are already made. So, don't ever not think about doing that because... People love it. So many times, you know how you are when you're like, oh, I need a card for this or I need a card for that. And when I gave them out, this is the second time I've given them cards for part of their Christmas, and they loved it. Oh, Robin, this is the last thing we're showing. We have been on for hours. Okay, so this one is the one I bought, which I have to find because I have it, and I don't think I ever used it. I bought it on a clearance, I think. And this is called Precious Parcel Card Kit. I thought it was so cute. But then I just got busy and never used it. So I need to find it because I do have it somewhere. And so I'm excited that it's back as part of our kits. Now, like I said, the kits are going to start in June for customers. They're available for demonstrators now. One of each kit. There's probably, I don't know, four other kits that I didn't get. Yeah, I'm loving this look. 
to Shauna. This is my my kind of thing here. All right, so we've got this is um this is not like thread. This is like the rope. And then look at these little little um paper clips. They're like a brassy kind of look. And then here's the envelopes. My husband's going to be like, oh, did you get your card done for Sunday's video? I'm going to be like, nope. Sure didn't. But I am crafting all day tomorrow, so I'm not worried. Yes, that's the thing. Is Come June, the kits are going to be sold super fast. So make sure you get what you want. Thanks, Bonnie. I did leave some stuff there. Not a lot. Uh, cute cards. I really like these. Let's see what the kit says. Like I said, I kind of explained at the beginning. I want the most of my money, and I'm going to buy it anyway. So I tend to kind of grow broke at the beginning of the catalog. So I get more stuff free, better percentage, all that kind of stuff. Um, I'm absolutely loving the directions. It is super fast. It tells you what you're going to need to use for that step. Love, love, love. And I love this vintage -y look. So, oh, this is so pretty. Okay, so it has your glue. You're going to put, well, I'm going to have to read this. I do not know. Oh, okay. So this is your card. Okay. I get it. This is your card. You're going to put your slip in there, but you can open it and have your reading, you know, your writing right there is my guess. I'm going to have to read it better, but so we have the darker ones. Good night, Sandra. Thanks for joining. This is our last one. Anyway, I'll recap a couple of announcements and that's it. Um, it looks like you have two holes you can put your rim in. You have your, there's a hole up here where you can probably pull stuff up, I'm guessing. And we're going to have to read it and see that we're doing it the right way. Oh yeah, see? See how this is in the back? So cute. Alright, then those go there. Your cards are going to go, this is your note card, so it's going to go in here like this. Look how cute these are. And then there's more, then you have these that go in here. Oh my goodness. I'm loving these. Then you can put, oh look at sending a note, sending wishes, sending love, sending thoughts different language so and they're stickers so you want to put them right here oh these are cute oh here's another one and then I really like the color on this I don't know if there's a way you could do something with those you could probably put a little pop-up label right there and put something else and I would put some nice adhesive on the bottom like our like our dimensional strips or something and then make a nice sentiment right here that pops up even in like the lighter green or you know vice versa here or even in the same color or white and put a sentiment and use these labels for something I would don't waste them we can find something with them right Ooh, look at this I feel like I'm winning like oh look at this treasure so we have little, little, these little, oh my gosh, look at you guys. They go on the bottom. Look right there. You can put them on the bottom of your cards. And you can put these little kind, tiny corners and put them on the bottoms. And then you have stamps. So you could, oh look, you could take this. I see what they did. And then take... Oh my goodness. All right, so that I've got to get all of these again. Okay, so I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to buy a set and I'm going to do them all like they are. Then I'm going to buy a set that shows how to step them up and I'll do that before class. All right, now we can add our little five cent stamp because that's how much it costs to mail something. 
By the way, Stephanie, um, your package came, if you're listening, and I have to get it at the post office because they, I was on vacation and they didn't deliver it for whatever reason. All right, so I have to figure out this part. I think this is your note. This goes in and out here because you don't want it to obviously be back here like this. It's got a hole somewhere. And so you're going to take your tape off of here, close that up. Man, these are cute. Okay, I got to find my other one. I'm going to go dig it out because these are too stinking cute. Now these are kind of the paper pumpkins I'm loving. Yeah, and I'm, I'm anxious for my baseball one. Okay, everybody. That was a lot of stuff. But talking about paper pumpkin really quick, since we're talking about kits, I'm going to briefly go over my quick announcements. We've got some huge sales going on. Things you can get and save money. Today through the 10th, you can get the paper pumpkin for only $5 if you are not a subscriber already. So this is a special $5. Make sure you use the Home Run 0521, which is May 21, uh, 0521. And that is your code and you can get the paper pumpkin for $5. It is while supplies last or through the 10th. So don't forget, this is a great way to try it. And um, hello, who doesn't love baseball? It's great for guys. Um, I think this is going to be a really great set, and I'm definitely going to do some alternatives. I am a baseball mom. My son played through college. So I will be doing some fun stuff with that. So don't forget that. This is my host code for May. I would really appreciate it if you use it. If you go to my blog, marcybessaker.com, I'd love to have you guys join me there and subscribe. On the right side, you will see my May code. It says April because this is a funny face photo and I thought, why not use this one? Um, and then copy it and go click up above into my shop and that's how you will shop. If you scroll down on the page on the right side, if you need a PDF copy, if you're like me and my catalog's in the other room and I want to look something up, I will not get up and go get it. I will just sign online to my PDF and look at it. So. You can find it on my home page on the right hand side so that will always be there for you another amazing thing right now is if you are not a demonstrator and you want to join i explained it a little bit more at the beginning about um, there's no pressure right now is the perfect time you can get all the new stuff starting at 20 percent off and you're gonna kick it off at a hundred dollars or 99 dollars you get 155 for free so for only $99, you get $155. You're going to start getting 20% discount. It's an amazing deal. So don't pass it up. You might as well get your new catalog stuff at a discount. And if you qualify to continue on, you just keep continuing until you uh, don't meet your quota. And then you'll fall off. And then you'll just become a demonstrator. We won't take anything back. We won't give you a bad time. Um, just give it a try. To me, it's totally worth the discount. If you want to have a party, I am doing a special, I mentioned at the beginning, a minimum of $300 order in May, and this is a cumulative. If you want to put 10 $30 orders in, that's fine. Two orders in, whatever, as long as it adds up to $300, you will go into a drawing for a mini cut and a bus machine so don't forget to do that if you want to win an, a, one of these lovely things it's in the box right here in the picture you can see it is at the top of my pile there and good for you Jennifer I'm probably going on my fourth one but I'm gonna wait till Monday so I can at least make sure I didn't miss anything else cuz I am Here's my cutie patootie grandson that I went to go visit this last week. Thank you guys for being so patient and watching uh, uploaded videos instead of live so I could go be with him. And what other announcements do I have? I think I pretty much uh, hit everything at the beginning. I am trying to get through my 
Paper share, I have it all here in a box I need to cut up. I'll be doing that this weekend. Packaging Monday and shipping on Tuesday. So, you guys are so welcome. Thank you. I don't even know how long I've been on. on my phone is probably going dead. I've been on for hours. Oh, well. I know people don't like long videos. They can zip through it. But it was fun chatting with you. And it was fun doing it while I was going through all my new goodies. And um, I hope you picked up some tips and tricks on storage and some things um, that you might have saw differently than what you did in the catalog, because I sure did. And I am super, super happy with the kits and I'm going to be purchasing a lot more. You like long videos? That's good. I don't mind them long as long as I'm, you know, watching something that I enjoy. Right, Debbie? Oh, good, Susan. I'm glad. Thanks, Samantha. You guys have been awesome. Thank you so much for watching. I will be back Sunday. I have something super fun, super new, kind of combined with something older, but not super old. Um, it's going to be fun. It, it's in the thought process and partially done. So as long as it comes out like I want it, Well, my thought, um, Karen, is for you guys to just craft and have fun while I'm create, while I'm chatting and going through stuff, maybe writing it down what you want, and that that kind of thing. So, if you are not a demonstrator and you are interested in being a demonstrator, um, remember, don't let the word demonstrator scare you. You do not have to demonstrate. You could just purchase, get a discount, and play. So you do not have to do all that kind of stuff. So, um, oh good, you guys. Thank you so much. Have a fantastic day. I'm sure there's stuff I didn't show you that I got from the pre-order, but I tried to show you then. Hopefully you get a good idea of all the different stuff. I hope you enjoyed it. Good, Carolyn. Thank you. The discount alone is so worth it. <laughs> Sandy, I'm sure I will be getting paper cuts too. All right, everybody. Have a fantastic evening. I'm going to pass out because we got home late last night. But I just had to go through everything and I wanted to share with you guys. So thanks a lot. See you Sunday at noon Pacific time. Have a great rest of your day. Bye.